I believe we are live. Hopefully we are live and hopefully people can hear us. Uh, give me a second to open up all my good stuff here, live dashboard, and then connect this. I need to connect my chat to this. And I think we should be up and ready, ready to go. We'll see. It's been a little bit since we used the XSplit software. Hopefully that works. I bet it won't. <laughs> yeah. We'll find out when no one comes in here. And we're in here for 20 minutes <laughs> talking to ourselves. It's like normal life. Okay. So, <clears throat> let's see. I told Elizabeth we're going live. Oops. I thought that was my arm thing. Okay, we got someone in here. All the so hey, CJ Cutter. You know what's funny? Is it says no one's watching. So, that's accurate. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's always something, isn't it? Why does it say zero? Can I pop this out? Hey guys, how's it going? Sorry, I'm still setting this up and I gotta send out the stream in a second too because, you know, we gotta, gotta get all them people up in here. Oh, it's just stream health. So how's everyone doing this evening? There you are. Hey, Sever, what's going on? Hey, man. Uh, I can't wait for that knife. I'm so excited about that. You can't oh, yeah. even imagine. I'm so, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's like Christmas and... Oh, fireworks. fireworks. Hi, Christmas Elizabeth. in June. I was going to say July, but it's not quite July. Almost. It's almost yeah. July. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Miguel. Hey, hey Liz. Elizabeth. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's updating now. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, you know, if it sounds bad, don't tell me because I'll be pissed. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I'll wait a little bit and I'll tell everyone uh, the awesome gift that um, said we're sending. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm honored. I'm so excited. You, you know, I've been sending her pictures. I'm so excited about it. Because I was actually just in the market for a new knife. And not that knife. That's a... Yeah. I, was in a I was in a slightly lower market. <laughs> I think it's gorgeous. And I will use the hell out of it. But I will I will definitely share that with everyone in a little bit. So I want more people to see it. Because it's so freaking cool. Um, where are we at? TJ Hooker in the house. Little William Shatner. Got a little Shatner action. But we got some cool stuff to try tonight. Um... This was from Ed and Janice, and it doesn't look like we have to microwave. It's one of these little, I don't know if you've ever seen these. They're really interesting. Um, it's like this little- We had a hamburger it, one. We still do, but that one, you have to mic. And you make a little soda with it. Yeah, it's, it's a hamburger, fries, and all that, but it's weird. It's not really candy, but because they actually use like this weird like powder. So the beef tastes like beef. It's and weird. And snozberries taste like snozberries. Well, the soda was powder and it tastes and, like And then soda. you put a little effervescent tablet in there and it- so this is a sushi one. It looks like you just need water. You think that's supposed to taste like sushi? I don't know. That's a little weird. It's going to taste like yeah. roe and fish eggs, but in like powdered form. So <laughs> we'll see what we can do with that. I, we might completely ruin it. But as the title of this video says, we've got thanks to Paul, once again, from Critical Eats Japan. This is prosciutto and cream cheese. Royal. Uh, just like the royals eat. I can't imagine what that's going to taste the, like. The baseball team... And the, um, you know, the people in England. I was going to say the royal, the royalty. I don't know what else Sadler to call said, them. it's for Jen too, bud. Laugh out loud. Oh, no. Well, it is, but it isn't. I'm the only one going to be using that. Not because she's not allowed or anything. It's, she doesn't cook very I often. make stuff sometimes. When do you ever need a knife? When I make my suits for lunch that I haven't made in a while. Well, okay. There you go. But no, I'm in the kitchen 99% yeah. of the time. So that's like, that's my baby. Julian made some Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. Hmm? Julian Smith. Oh, really? That sounds good. Yeah, it does. I, I, that's a I think that might be the first time he's ever not just went right into yeah. a movie <laughs> factoid. That sounds good. Hey, uh, Julian, what kind of um, steak did you use for that? Because there's a million ways you can do that. You can use yeah. steakums. Um, you can use uh, like the shaved steak. You can get that in stores now. It's pretty readily available. But uh, when we did a uh, Pat's King of cheesesteak... It was a copycat. We looked up their secret recipe, which was... I love when they say secret recipe and you just look it up. It's like right there in the yeah. website. You're like, hmm. Um, it was... We are squeaking like a mo. Um, it was uh, ribeye. They use thinly sliced ribeye, so that ended up coming out good. And did you use cheese Whiz or regular cheese? But also, we got this from Paul. This is... Tahato... <laughs> it's like somebody mispronouncing potato really weird. Uh, caramel corn. It's like uh, Cheetos. Caramel corn Cheetos. Where are we at? Yeah. See, um, CJ says, really like the format of the video of the food and beer fest. Oh, thank you. 
Appreciate that. Someone said, yes, the vlog was sick. We did a, actually, we did another one today. It's not going to look as good because yeah. what, when we do ones in the stores, believe it or not, some of those stores are not okay with that. Yeah. They don't like you filming in there. And they like, we've had people just straight up had them told to stop. So it's easier with the phone because they can't really. So it won't look as good. Yeah. Um, I, but we just did one today at Lucky's Market. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but that's a place that I think we talked about maybe last time. Maybe. That you can go there and get a beer for two bucks, $2 pint, and which is insane beer two, yeah craft beer local yeah. craft beer two dollar pints and uh you know sip and shop it's a little comes with a little, little well you can get the little uh it's a cup, cup holder, holder that, that goes, goes in the, the cart. cart yeah and so for four bucks we're walking around sipping and shopping and we got some goodies for tonight well it was for dinner <laughs> yeah we ate much but we did a video of it i'm gonna put that up either probably sunday or monday to What's keep up for? well i just want to show this because this I want to, if Jason ends up making his way in here. Oh, there we go. Julian just, oh, oh, there you go. CJ did, uh, oh, wait, he, that wasn't who made it. He says shaved ribeye, but Julian was the one who made it. Hey, yeah, before my question, went right to the factoid. Spaz5 says, hello, y'all. Hello, hello, Spaz5. So this is, uh, look at this. I found this at Big Lots, and apparently it's like rare. People are selling it on eBay, but... We're going to eventually do some sort of little review. I have a little fun intro I want to do with this. And then we're going to wear the mask in the back. Yeah, there's a little mask of Reptar. And I, we're supposed to send the other one to Jason Callen. I don't know if it's like necessarily a collab or if uh, it's just it's just something he wants to do. Because he said he, we were supposed to, we we're trying to get him crisps. crisps. Yeah. And uh, they didn't have it, which is like an old cereal. I didn't know it was rare. <laughs> Apparently stuff at Big Lots, it's like, if it's not, the, if it, if you want it you better get it because next time you go back it's not there it ain't come back so shaved ribeye let's see be careful it's super sharp oh i bet it is i watch that show forged so like i now like super appreciate how much goes into forging these knives yeah. so the 161 legs i know what all that stuff means damascus and all that stuff like I, i'm all about that stuff so no i i, I know and it's it's gonna be my prize possession I am making peanut butter cookies from scratch. Nice. That sounds good. That's a, that sounds good, actually. I love peanut butter cookies, especially when they're a little crumbly. Almost dry, but not dry. Like, but just like, you know, I don't know how to explain I it. I think just I know what you're talking crumbly. about. I like Otis Spunkmeyer. Their peanut butter cookies what are my a favorite. Bad name. It's a bad name. But they that put Otis peanut Spunk butter Meyer. chips in it, and they're so that goddamn is, good. That's the guy you don't want around your kids. <laughs> Otis Spunkmeyer. <laughs> want right. crackers? Read, read Jillian Smith. Jillian Smith. Kirk Cameron and Dudley Moore starred in the 1987 movie Like Father, Like Son, featuring Sean Astin. I saw that movie in the theaters with my mom. I did not remember Sean Astin being in that, but I would guess I was only nine at the time. Cosmo Blitz Gaming says, sounds cool. Buckies. Miguel Fernandez says, I'm cooking salmon with pineapple and Korean barbecue sauce and sriracha as flavoring and black beans on the wow. side. Wow. That sounds good. It's elaborate. Yeah. I've never had salmon with fruit. Yeah, I guess it'll work. Yeah, I'm sure it would. And Korean barbecue sauce. Now, what is... I've had things that say Korean barbecue. Like, what specifically is Korean barbecue? Is it just sweeter? Is it richer? Like, I don't know. what. How is that different than a typical BBQ sauce? Good blades and knives have a def... Or a must have. Or a def yeah. yeah. Um, absolutely, CJ. Um, I have right now, I just use a ceramic knife. I really like it because it keeps the uh, edge, but I kind of need something a little more heavy duty because that thing's a little fragile. And sometimes you got to just yeah. go right. Got to get right through something. Julian Smith says, for my Philly cheesesteak sandwiches, I use roast beef deli meat mm. and Velveeta cheese. Okay. Also cheese Whiz. We've done that before. It is good. Yeah. It is funny if you want to uh, kick it up a notch on the, uh, the, the, the steakiness. Put just a bit of um, bullion, beef bullion, in with the roast beef, and it gives that extra salty mm. flavor, which makes it kind of taste like something from uh, a Philly cheesesteak place. I used to do that when I was uh, when I was a kid. That's when I didn't care about things like sodium and heart. I used to eat the um, and health, the other things, the frozen steakums. Steakums. They make me sicker. Yeah, they oh made me nauseous. God. But I, I every time them. I ate it, I was like, so good. I feel so yeah. sick now. And I've tried to like twice since i got older and it just didn't, I, didn't work out i had them in my 20s but not since early 20s am i the only idiot who didn't know sean Aston is patty duke's son until she passed away duh um yeah uh and wasn't isn't his father gomez from the original adams family 
pretty sure. His name is. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure. Gomez, uh, the original Gomez. Don King says Korean Patty barbecue mayonnaise. is from Korea. Japan is oh. an island. Oh, Don King. <laughs> okay, Japan is an island. Uh, fair enough. Didn't answer my question. But I know it's a barbecue sauce from Korea, but like, is it just, is it, is that really the distinction? Is there like a distinct flavor or quality that makes it barbecue? Grape and soda flavors. The sushi's grape and soda flavors? I guess. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, we got this little sushi thing and we weren't sure if they were going for like a fake fish flavor, but apparently it's grape and soda flavors. What? That's vague. Soda flavors? <laughs> okay. Patty Duke or Panty Mayonnaise? Panty. Patty. Mm -hmm. I did not. I don't mm -hmm. fucking say that word. She's a panty. I did not. I don't say that word. She's a panty. Miguel Fernandez says, I haven't had the Korean barbecue sauce in a while, but it's good with sriracha. I'm guessing the, the Korean barbecue sauce is probably a little sweet, so the sriracha probably helps uh, cut through that. I have trouble with really, really, really sweet sauces. Me too. That's like tonight we went we went, went to Lucky's. And like I said, I got that little video. I'm going to put that up soon. Um, that I forgot barbecue sauce because we got some ribs they had and they're okay. Um, but I, so I just whipped up a batch of... Uh, a quick batch of barbecue sauce. So a little recipe. My mom used to make it with coffee. Yeah, this is her panty triggered. <laughs> panty triggers. Yeah, you're right. I hate that word. It's terrible. And I'm drinking a Voodoo Ranger. That's what I'm drinking too. Currently. So it's pretty strong, right? 7%. Okay. I was, Seven. Yeah. I didn't get... That was nine. The Imperial one. I didn't get that one. I didn't want something that strong. And then I got the Bud Light with orange. The so what's everyone uh, drinking or eating tonight? We know Julian uh, had the Philly cheesesteak, and we know that Miguel had the Korean barbecue pineapple um, salmon with black beans. Good memory. What y'all eating, drinking, what y'all doing? <clears throat> we'll try these prosciutto chips. I've been these been sitting on the shelf for a long time. Oh, I gotta tell you, man, uh, Japanese. They uh, this is the. This is like the heaviest heavy duty. This is like a hazmat suit. That's very. Look at, this is not a typical bag. Like, they want to make sure this shit is fresh. So we got, I've got a missile IPA, 7%. It's a Virginia thing. Sounds a lot like what we have, actually. Yeah. This is a, this is a, a beer thing. It's Voodoo Ranger IPA, 7%. Don King is drinking Ballast Ooh, Point with that's a good one too. and eating herring and mayo sauce. What Ballast Point are you drinking? You had me up till mayo sauce, but I like herring and Ballast Point. Awesome. And Elizabeth is eating rotisserie chicken from the market and vodka tonic. Oh. Hey, America. <laughs> Fourth of July. Um, what was that? Oh, rotisserie chicken. That's a. Rotisserie chickens, especially if you can get it for like Lucky's have them, has them for five dollars on Wednesdays. It's very versatile. It really, like you can make tacos with it. You can make uh, any kind of like uh, like the, with the the buffalo chicken salad mm -hmm. stuff like that. It's so much. It ends up just being easier to buy. Yeah. It. And, and for five bucks, what are you gonna do? No, all of them are five dollars, but yeah. Oh, there's that place that we went to. It was like called Earth Sculpin Fair. Sculpin IPA. That's my good. favorite. They have a uh, habanero Sculpin IPA. Oh, it's, it's really good, but it is hot. It'll it'll burn your boo boo. It's surprising. You don't yeah. get any like, oh, that's good. <laughs> there used to be a beer that we used to get. It has a big C on it. It's a Mexican beer, I think. And it has just it's a just straight up chili pepper in it. Yeah. And it's hotter than hell. And it's so funny to get those and people think they're tough. They drink it. because I mean, that's not something you eat. You can kind of like, you know, absorb yeah. and get used to it. It goes straight to your back of your throat and just. Uh, that's pretty hot. Now, you don't normally just down something hot. Straight to the back of your throat. And sure read the front. <laughs> I know. Paul from Critical Age Japan sent us a bunch of these things. That's what we've been snacking on. Um, we also have a thing of ramen. I don't know how to do that in video. Ooh. Yeah, I'm just looking forward to eating that. Um, but he gave a description because he teaches English over there. He's a smart son of a bitch. Um, and he gives a description. And he, he translates for you. And all of them say this one says like milk, cocoa, and caramel corn. And this one just says read the front. <laughs> it's in English, so. Yep, lots of quesadillas and salads in its feature. Third to three chicken. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Especially if you're eating for one. You get a lot of meat on yeah. that. You can divide that up and make 
three or four meals, yeah. so it ends up being a good deal. Inferno says, I've been watching you guys since day one. Absol absolutely love what you do. My wife has been in Boston for a week, so I'm binge binging on friendly YouTubers and <laughs> so happy you two are live. Oh, well, thank you so much. That's very nice. Um, yeah, we really appreciate that. You've been around and stuck, stuck with us through all the... All the that don't smell good. I don't want to smell it. Well, you got to smell. It smells like something. But thank you very Bleh. much. Yeah, it smells weird. It smells like something. It smells like an oat brand. It does. It smells something. like something that you, you'd smell at like a health food store and go, no, not I. <laughs> it does. It smells like, like it wheat smell germ like, or like I thought hamster it was, food. I thought it was going to smell like... Good. Well, like a cheese smell. <laughs> well, cheese doesn't necessarily smell good. Well, I know. What do you guys think would but, be... Hold on, I just want to say thank you again. That was a very, very, oh. very nice comment. So, I really appreciate that, and we're friendly YouTubers that are live right now. So, thank you, uh, Inferno. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Cheers. Um, so, here we go. And, um, you know, what do you guys think would be a great drink to go with my meal? Oh, that's a good question. Beer? Like, I'm going to say beer because I think hard liquor and, like, a big meal is a bit rough. Yeah. Um, boy, what did he, okay, was it pineapple? So, I would think so. I would think an IPA. Yeah, something. Not heavy. Yeah. I, don't want, I don't think a stout or a porter would be very good. Nothing sweet because you're already having a bit yeah. of sweet heat in there with the Korean and the sriracha. And, theoretically, sweet and heat, the pairing with that is an IPA. Maybe even an imperial IPA. Something heavy. Like, strong, really hoppy. Like a double IPA, not Imperial. Imperial tends to be a little yeah. strong, gaily sweet. So I think actually the Sculpin IPA would yeah, be a be really good. good way to go. It's hoppy, but if you have that while you're eating, like washing it down, it would blend in really well. I feel like less of a hoppy, the dogfish head. Go back up, you missed. I am I trying to. It was John. Hey, John, what's going on, brother? Hey, Nick. Hi, Jay. Just coming in. Coming in. Korean barbecue sauce has a base of soy sauce. Okay. Gin Ugh. Ginger and other ingredients. Okay, so it is. Okay, so significantly Leans different. towards sweet, spicy, and a good burn in the back of your throat. Okay. Thank you. Are you guys going into the Purge films and excited about the new one? Are you guys into Wait, I have films? never seen any of them. Should we watch them? I've never seen them, yeah. Are they dead serious? Are they kind of like tongue-in-cheek fun? Violent, I get. But you, you tell us. Um, so hold on. Before we do that, let's go ahead and... We're going to try the prosciutto and Ugh. cream cheese. It smells funky. It smells like it's healthy, even though it's really not. Look at the chip itself. It looks different. Like It's thick. Yeah. It's really thick. It's like a ninja star. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Do they have, is prosciutto a different thing over there? It's cream cheese. What the hell do their bagels taste like? They're wiping stuff that tastes like that on there. Ugh. Tastes like fish. It's I don't like, know what it tastes it's like. It's like fish food. That's weird as hell. Oh, and the freaking chip is corny as hell. It's like sweet at the end. Okay, guys. Prosciutto. <laughs> nor cream cheese, to me, is sweet unless they already sweeten it. And I wish I could read this to see if there was sugar in this because this tastes like, do you taste at the end? It's like a sweet cream cheese. That is not And prosciutto tasty. is one of my favorite foods on the planet. Uh, that is not Good what sir, I, I know prosciutto, and you are no prosciutto. That is not what I pictured Damn. at all. Damn, I was so excited for those. Oh. Oh, it smells like something specific, and I cannot. It's driving me nuts. Garbage. It's not garbage. I know. <laughs> Thank you, Paul, for sending them. <laughs> that was fun to try, even though they weren't good. And still oh, fun. my goodness. Uh, it tastes... Nothing like either of those things. It, I don't know what it tastes okay, like. Okay, put it this way. There's a weird sourness a, in there that I, I a, not enjoy. I have a decent palate. <clears throat> oh my God, those chips are grainy. Um, I have a decent palate. If you, if you, how do you, I don't know. It's a, how do can, I saw like a street fighter all of a sudden. Um, if you had blindfolded me and gave me that, no way I would ever, even if you had said Italian cured meat, I've been like, salami. Uh, there's no way I would have got prosciutto. Mm -mm. I might have even said like something like mortadella or something like a little sweeter, a little fattier. Prosciutto is just almost like a, a like it's like a awesome, super thin smoked ham slash bacon. Ugh. Anyway. Not good. Oh, God. It leaves a bad taste in your mouth. Don King says in Leo Strom. Yeah, I don't know. We celebrate. Leo Strom. July 4th by having a classic car show featuring American cars. People also dress up like Americans from the time period. Is that true? Because that's actually really cool. 
that I'm surprised that they celebrate Fourth of July yeah. at all. If that's true, that's actually really neat. Candace is I think here. We do right here. Candace says, "I am here." Hey, how you doing? Fernanda, so what movie would you watch tonight? I'm thinking The Burbs. Ooh, Burbs is Burbs good. Burbs is really good, yeah. I know we're probably about a minute behind now because I rambled on, but um, Inferno Burbs. We watched Burbs not that long ago. That's like a two time a year we watch that movie because yeah. it's just funny. It's a good Halloween movie and it's good if you're in the mood for a, a 80s comedy. Yeah. It's a little dark or a lot dark. Candace is going on vacation soon. Oh, wow. Where? Where are you going? Inferno says cheesy violence. <laughs> She's gross. <laughs> huh? the, the, the movie. No, I'm talking about that. Oh. <laughs> the shit was cheesy gross. Sedward says, very original idea, The Purge. Oh, Jason's live streaming too. Uh, Jason, uh, if you're still here, I got I got your cereal. I'm showing everyone the Reptar cereal if you still want it. Now, I got a question for you though. Um, I, I still have boxes of the Mario. It's a me, Mario. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to post that. We're live. Oh, yeah. I gotta do that in a second. I'll catch up first. So, take your pick. Uh, Reptar or Mario? Jason Cowan. Oh. I was just said, Jen's face is at all with the gross chips. Yeah, it, was, it was hard to hide that nastiness. <laughs> hey, Jen's Looks makeup is not for deep tonight. Oh, well, thank Someone you. Someone said my eyebrows look like that, and I was like, is that good? And see, I was like, <laughs> oh, okay. See, Jason said, glad you like the review of my... Glad you like my review of your song. Yes, thank you for the review. That was that was very cool, and I'm glad you like the song. Yeah, the song's doing really well. Like it's going to be on the album. I got the rights. We got went through the process. We're getting the rights to. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I did a cover of with my my one man band. <laughs> I say that because people keep like thinking other people are writing the music, and it's, yeah. it's not me. Um, it's Cry Little Sister, the song from Lost Boys. I did a cover of it, and it just turned out the exact same moment I was releasing it. Marilyn Manson did when I was like, mm, cool. Luckily, his sucked. <laughs> and, every, and it kind of like, I was worried. And then it actually kind of benefited me. Because there was like a side-by-side -side comparison. Yeah. And mine did better. So, um, yeah, it's going to be on the album. So that's really cool. But, and, but Jason Callen reviewed it. That was really cool. Appreciate it. Cyber says, love the caption, by the way. And the Roman numeral for 1984 it gave me. Hmm? Love the caption? Caption, by the way. Oh, oh, oh. The, on um, here. Yeah, that's the Friday the 13th um, font. <laughs> As I said, I'm that, that is cool isn't it I'm obsessed with the lip color at stripper liquor it's um lime crime, lime crime. one of the velveteens I got it on clearance <laughs> for five dollars John said he tried he's their garbage <laughs> hey, they are nasty <laughs> they're so nasty ate two dumped the bag in the garbage even my soda no I still have it I still have the taste in my mouth wouldn't wash the taste out no yeah. it's terrible it tastes like um possibly like a hamster cage. I've never eaten that, but it tastes like a hamster cage smells. It's fucking weird. Elizabeth, you have to watch the Burbs if you haven't seen it. Oh my god, you haven't seen the Burbs? Yeah, it's so good. It's uh Tom Hanks, but you also got um Carrie Fisher's the wife. Oh yeah. And uh Corey Feldman and Bruce Dern and it's it's really good. It's yeah, really good. it's different. It's definitely different. Of course, movies are not different. See, back every time then. you guys start talking about that it makes me want to just go watch movies. Yeah. Wouldn't watch about him. Uh Jason said, yes, I still want it, friend. Reptar cereal. Okay, Reptar. Okay, it's yours. Blah. Blah. Ugh, I was in my teeth and I just got a big old taste of it. Boy, that's gross. Let's see, check out that cover, people. Oh, my cover. Crow little sistle. Sistle. <laughs> Crow little sistle. That's, <laughs> that's how I say that's it. That's how he sang it, too. I sang it just like that. He wanted to do it different. <laughs> Let's see. Nick, did you think Gigi Allen was a madman? I definitely or a didn't genius? think Gigi Allen was a genius. I, 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 to me, to be a genius, there has to be some artistic merit, not just pooping on the floor and throwing it at people, which is what he did. Ugh. Yeah, his music was real not good. Ever seen the verbs? Yes, I want it. Rest oh, my Look, I have my headphones on, so it wouldn't do that. I'm um, Stanley. It's also a great movie, says Inferno. I haven't seen that in a long time. I haven't either. Like, a really long time. Have to, you know, I, you know what? I, I just remembered why I stopped watching it. Uh, Raul Julia died. And I felt it, was, it makes me sad. Mm. So let's get caught up. So Don I can King said last out. night I watched Jungle, Jungle Two. To Jungle. That's Tim Allen. Chevy, oh, Chevy Chase is in that? I didn't even know that. How is that like on a rewatch? I watched it a long time ago, and I think I liked it when it came out. But is it one of those ones you're like, hmm, how to be there? What tools do you use for production? Um, editing wise or music? 
Uh, I'll wait for him to get back to that because I'm not sure which because that's a completely different animal. See what? The Burbs is the fucking shit. Yeah. So who loves the old school film Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead? That's a wild movie. I have not seen that. Christina uh, Applegate as an I don't think I ever saw it. I saw it a long time ago. That's a dark movie. I just feel like those movies can't be made now. No, they can't. Because it was a dark comedy. Mm -hmm. Now it's just like horrible, not horrible, but like horrific, nightmares, dark horror. Rarely is it comedy. Do they throw that in there? Especially like the teen. The 80s were the best for the teen. If that was 80s, it might have been early, early 90s. Mm -hmm. But they were the best for the, uh, the, the really, like Heather's, just this really fucked up teen movies. Anyway. Sam Perna says, watch it tonight. Gorgeous Roddy Chrome says, howdy from the cool high mountains of flaming hot Arizona. Oh, I like the way he worded that. It's like a Jay Peterman writer. <laughs> Thou shalt not kill. Yeah. <laughs> See, Candace says, have you heard Shara's new, new song? song no, I don't know. No. I have no idea. Jason said he was gross. I was going to review his documentary, Hated, directed by the guy that directed The Hangover. But I think that would be too. interesting yeah, to no. see a documentary of it. But because I remember, like, I didn't know who he was. And I was watching Jenny Jones. Remember Jenny Jones? Yes, I used to watch that. talk show in like the early 90s, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I loved it. And he was on and like a couple days later, he was dead. And I was like, who the hell was that? He was an asshole. He's ugly as sin. Like, and he thought he was cool. And I was like, mm. And then I found out some of the stuff. I was like, Bleh. It was a documentary. Maybe it's the one you're talking about. And I was like, huh. oh my God. He's just rolling around the street, crapping in the street naked. I'm not joking. He got arrested and then he died a couple days later. I'm like, huh, you think drugs were involved? That's not, that's not a dead giveaway. Elizabeth said, Drake's new album dropped today. Pretty sure I'm <laughs> in the right room. Absolutely. Do that. You want to know something I'll funny? I've never, there. I've never heard a Drake song in my life. I don't know if I have. That's it's possible. Okay, that's true. If it was in the background of something, I would Or in know. a movie and it's or not, something. Because I'm not like, no, screw Drake. It's not that. It's just, I just, I don't actively seek pop music or current music. <laughs> Pro Tools is what I record my yodeling through. <laughs> That's a pretty high quality yodel. Mm -hmm. That's Mac. They use Mac. I use, use PC. Yeah. Um, horror is no more. You got to go back. I agree. Horror don't feel the same. I liked, you know what? Uh, you're next. I thought that felt very great. 80s. I like that one a lot. With the what was that one? No, Jenny Jones was the, well, did Jenny Jones have his huge glasses? No. Just that like was, Jesse Raphael. Yes. I used to watch her too sometimes. Sudward. Guys, heads up, I won't be able to stay on long, unfortunately, but if you oh. mention the donation, I'd like to hear about it. Gotta work a catering event, 16 hours. All right, we'll do that hours. now. So, Sedward has been uh, most generous to send us a, it's, it's um, what's the name of, it? the the problem is I don't know how to pronounce it, that, that damn knife, you got a picture of it? Yeah. We got a picture of it on here, I'll show you. Um, here, hold on. Uh. There it is. It's like a six text. Look at this knife right here. It's 161 steel forged knife. Happy man. There's a happy man. We got a happy man in here tonight. Cheers, happy man. Thank you so much for the donation. But this is the knife from Sedward. And it is, hold on. I have to read the name. And I do apologize. I This name is really, oh, I didn't give you the damn name. Can you tell me what the name, how to pronounce that name phonetically? Because it's like, I tried it like gooey. It's like G-U-O or something. You said and you can't pronounce it either. Okay. Shoot. Well, it's a fancy. It's gorgeous. Fancy a Japanese um, hand forged knife. And I don't know if it's tacky to say that it's an extremely expensive knife. I mean, this is a, this is the nicest gift I've ever gotten in my life. I'm not joking. It Except is. for me. It is. I'm the best gift. Oh, you are. But you ain't never got me a gift this nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice, I mean, I, like I said, I, I don't, it's up to Severed if I, you know, I don't want to, like I said, I don't know if that's tacky, but it's a, it's, it's a quarter of a thousand dollars. It's an unbelievably beautiful knife. And I'm telling you, I, I'll show this in the videos, like a lot. Yeah, let me get it. I, it's, and it comes with a, a, a beautiful sleeve and all that. Like it is literally like getting yourself like a, like a cantata blade, blade from Japan. I am so excited. And it's so awesome. Ever, so everyone, please. Sedward, big cheers, and and he's a and he's a chef, so he knows what he's talking about. Thank you. Gorgeous, and I cannot wait to get it, and it will be used a lot. I'll just walk around with it. Be, uh, <laughs> you take it to Walmart. <laughs> I'll be like Clint Eastwood, but instead of a gun, I got a knife. 
I'll just show it off, scaring the hell out of people. Like, look at my knife! Chasing after him. So thank you very much. Like, I can't thank you enough for that. As such, like, so generous. Unbelievable. Let's see, uh... God. Hellraiser, that shit was scary. We just watched the first one last year. It's silly how excited I am about that knife, by the way. <laughs> and I thought it was really fuck, really weird. What? Hellraiser. The first one we watched it was, it for the first it time was, last year. It was year. dark and gory, and I it was darker than I thought it was going to be, so I, I actually liked it more because mm, I thought it was going to be stupid. It was so gross. It was be dumb. Because quite frankly, when, uh, on first sight, Pinhead looks kind of goofy. Like someone was I like, always thought, like, because I only saw, not in the movie, but in, no, like, I pictures. In that I, I thought he seemed, I wondered what the hell he was about. You know, like, I was like, what is that he guy about? Cool. He was He was cool. He's the best part yeah. of the movie. Um, the guy in the attic, or whatever that, makeup, that was. What a bitch that must have been. Gross. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was weird. So gross. But we saw something else, like the first Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We're both like, wow, that, that was a good. Yeah, we watched that a couple years ago for the first time. And then, like, time. that's what I... Uh, I um, love that one. That was weird as hell. As we were just talking about, like, it's not the same. They don't feel like that anymore. They feel like they're going to be over the top and stylistic and all that stuff. Like, that movie was just, like, it, it messed that, with um, you. That, um, From Hell one was really good. From, from Hell? hell. No. Is it from hell? The one where the girl goes dragged in the ground by the demons or some shit? Drag me to hell. Drag from me to hell. From hell was Johnny Depp. Oh. You know what's weird is that I was like, Johnny Depp's Phantasm. Fant I've never seen Phantasm. I've heard people say, I've heard that. that that's, is that a love-hate movie? Oh, I'll watch Jenny Jones' cooking channel. She does. We talked about that. I'll watch it. We're not it. missing anything. Not my cup of tea. Music. Oh, oh need Drake. to give Trey. I know. So sorry, Trey. We got Thank you. Just trampled on you. Um, cheers, Happy Man Snacks. And welcome back, brother man. You, you, How have you been doing? We suck. <laughs> you guys, I was going to say, you, you guys rock. Uh, what is How have you been doing? You guy at 039 at Don. Is this supposed to say that? <laughs> what is that? I don't know. What was the... I didn't, I didn't see it. Well, thank you. Well, I don't know what the hell that said. That was Gizmo, by the way. Hold I need, on. I need a Gizmo doll. I, I've decided. What did that say? Who did that? That confused the hell out of me. I don't know. That was just like symbols and whatnot. That's not really someone's username, is it? Hold on, sorry guys, I'm signing into Streamlabs because I I have to see what what that name was. So God, I gotta give proper thank yous. Oh, that knife is so nice. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, it was Elizabeth. Oh, well, thank you, Elizabeth. What was that? Don. You got you guy at. Number 39's Don at number 39's T suck. What the hell happened with that? Well, thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, Elizabeth. But I don't think that's what you meant to say. I think you're telling Happy Man you sucked. Or we suck. Is that the new thing? Is that the new greeting? Like when everyone so Bill Burr, like the greeting to him is go fuck yourself. <laughs> that is literally what you say to him. So Zara's like, that'd be funny though. Because people wouldn't know. And then someone come up to us and be like, hey, what feels you? You suck. We're like, cool, thanks. They're like, like wow, they took that well. You that he sucks. They took that well. I'm impressed. But thank you so much, Elizabeth. You yeah. suck at Happy Man. Yeah, I don't know what that said. Yeah, look at he Stripper Lickers talking about Jenny Jones' cooking show, too. Yes, sir, my bad. I watched that. They showed him crapping, then eating. Ugh. Okay, you know, I think mm, I saw that's that. Nasty. That's what I, that, I think that's the same thing I saw. Throwing out. I recorded a geez. song called Eat My Diarrhea. <laughs> How ridiculous is that? It's uh, pretty literal. It's a slice of life for him. Oh, what a gross fuck. Every day, it's just it's just another day in the life. <laughs> did no did I just do a little De Niro? Probably. You do that sometimes. Do I? Yeah. Oh. Every <laughs> once in a while. Well, I don't look at myself when I'm doing it, so apparently I'm doing a De Niro. I said that to you semi-recently. Mm. Pulling a rock. I think it was in Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's real. <laughs> the, um, 80s De Niro. When he was really yeah. cool. Mm. Serpent and the Rainbow. He don't do great movies now. Also, Cheers. Light that Cheeto. If I had a Cheeto, I would light it just to get it over with. Yeah, we don't. I don't Wait, have do one. Wait, we don't? I thought we had. You know what? Hold three. on. We, we might have a, a Cheeto up here. <laughs> we got one laying around somewhere. Oh, it's empty. There is a. Oh. Okay. Let's just get this shit over with. There's a lighter in my room. On my right. desk somewhere. Play Jason with the takes one no one. I don't have a fire extinguisher, so if it blows up, I'm blaming him. Light that Cheeto. Well, here you go. Gonna light a Cheeto for you. I don't know what you've been asking for. You don't have a nothing to put it on though? Like a plate? I got a I got a cup here. 
Actually, you know what? I got a cup of water because I don't want this our, our live video go to go viral because I burnt down our house because of a damn Cheeto. Here, hold that. All right, lighting a Cheeto. It's a flaming hot Cheeto. Boy, that was exciting. There's your Cheeto lit up. Look at it. Look at her go. Was it's gonna happen? Was that day. everything that was cracked up to be, Mike? I mean, I will say it's keeping a flame. I thought it's gonna smell good. Ugh. <laughs> it didn't do very much. Happy Fourth of July, everyone! Now, you know what? Instead of fireworks, now I think everyone should just go outside and light Cheetos and run around <laughs> and disappoint all the children. Jinsu five thousand. Jinsu. Jinsu. Sorry. What is that? Where do you see that? CJ Cutter. Oh, the knife. Oh, oh, oh. No, it's better than that. This is gorgeous. Don This is like a piece of art. Like, I swear to God, like, put this on the wall. It's a piece of art. She want to use it? I have to. I mean, I do want to frame it and put it on the wall, but but I'm going to use it properly. <sighs> yes, yeah, things are crap. Like, Thanks, Mike. It smells like burnt toast. Maybe that was the joke. <laughs> that is the joke. No, we just did something dumb and it smells real bad now. Don says, we can all agree that Elizabeth Shue is the goat. Is... So that's an acronym. I don't know. What it Greatest is. of all time. Boom. Oh. <laughs> that's what that. I like I Elizabeth Shue. Uh, Adventures of Babysitting. Can you tell me how to pronounce Happy Man Snacks? <laughs> happy. Happy. Oh, there you go. Two twenty. Are we that behind? Super Goa. I didn't go get a notification that you guys were live. Of course you didn't. Yeah, the Gua. Yeah, I don't know how to say that. Um, yeah, of course you guys didn't get a notification. That's just how that's, it that's rolls. That's how it is. So Sad let's get caught up. We're, I know there's already a minute delay. And everyone's going to be like, why are you 10 minutes late? Sadward says $250. Happy Man Snack says douchebag. <laughs> that's how you pronounce it. Okay. <laughs> Takes one to know one. Play, Play Jason with it. with it. Ha ha. Oh, shit. Carry on your belt in a sheath. <laughs> Happy oh, says. Oh, thanks. That's a cool shirt, Nick. I know. Who has a shirt of Pete? I mean, Mickey's on there, but I got it because of Pete. Thank you. Bear. Bear. House of a Thousand Corps. Bear. I say when... They put together a mermaid person. I don't remember House of a Thousand Corps. I saw it in the theater. But I it's did been too, a long and time. I, I don't remember. That's, I didn't even remember that Rain Wilson, Dwight from The Office, is in there. Is he? Yeah, no, that's no, how long either. it's been since I've seen it. I didn't even know who he was. Or a wine... Seller or whiskey or seltzer water. Oh, you said we don't suck. I thought that was our new thing. Too bad they suck. No, we're done. Okay. Uh, what the fuck? She said you don't suck. Oh, yeah, eh, don't suck. We'll agree to disagree on that one. Well, apparently wrestling machine swallows. <laughs> I don't suck as well. Hi, everyone. Every man has cool t-shirts, to too. We all suck, but the I rest of us... you say that to all the ladies. <laughs> too bad they suck. Gorgeous, right chrome. I use Japanese knives. They are delicate but awesome. Is yours a Japanese-style edge made for right-hand use only or euro stop? You're going to have to ask. It's Edward on that one. I have the damn information, so here, get caught up. I'm going to look that knife up real quick. Uh, Christ, not the light a Cheeto thing again. Laugh out loud. 991. Nine one. Nine nine one. <laughs> nine nine, nine, nine one. <laughs> Why didn't they come? <laughs> nine one one on speed dial. Happy Man Snack says, "Eat it, eat the burnt Cheeto." Oh God, no! Julian Smith says, "I'm going to be making a New Orleans style shrimp poor boy sandwich and Cajun fries. That sounds really good." Elizabeth said, it "Probably tastes better than the chips Paul sent. I bet it does." Yaxel, that was the name. Happy or er, Trey says five more bucks if you eat it. <laughs> no thanks. Ha uh, Trey says I am poor. <laughs> <laughs> Candace says Reptar. Inferno says Elizabeth's shoe is rad. Okay, hold on. Let me give a proper description of this knife. Um, it is right here. Can you see that? I don't know. It's like, nah. It's it's beautiful. It it oh shit. It is constructed of Japanese SG2 microcarbide powder stainless steel, 
Japanese kanji is hand engraved on the blade 63 Rockwell hardness. We all, we all know what that means. I don't know what that means. Core features 80 layers of alternating soft and hard stainless steel on each side with a total of 161 layers. Now, I do know that because I watched that show Forge. Uh, FDA approved red and black resin and lined canvas micarta handle with three stainless steel rivets enclosed full tang. I know the tang. That's the thing that keeps you from cutting yourself. Um, or your hand sliding up. drank is what it is. Clean with warm water. Okay. The Yaxel Super Go G-O-U Chef's Knife is designed for slicing, dicing, and chopping a full range of fruits, vegetables, and more. There you go. When it's With its curved belly, the Chef's Knife can be gently rocked through fresh herbs or spices to produce a very fine mince. It's extremely sharp. Ooh. Damascus. Told you I knew what that meant. This is Damascus design pattern. That's when they, after they, uh, they do like a little design on it. And it's the way they buff it. And then they put it into the hot oil and it comes out and it shows this really cool design on it. That's so cool. It's... Those that said yes, you are that behind. Okay. So, well, well let's let's just jump ahead. We'll go live. Happy man because I didn't eat it. He gave me $2. Okay. What about extremely old school film, Rosemary's Baby. I haven't seen it. I have not seen that one. Typo negative. I, I love I like typo them. negative. Yes. They're, they're good. There's half a minute snacks. There's 10 minutes behind. Okay, fine. 10 minutes? We ain't no 10 minutes behind. There's no way we're 10 minutes behind. You can Here, let's time. go live right now. This Sorry if you missed your stuff. We're live. Boom. There's no way we're 10 minutes behind. We're live right now. We just said, uh, Trey just donated two bucks. Thank you very much, Trey. Thank you. Happy man. Tink. Happy man oh, snacks. Thank you, Trey. Happy. Nick and Jen, can I use you guys on my resume? Maybe? But like... Can you say good stuff about me? Because I'm trying to leave my job. I've been treated badly the past couple weeks. Yeah. I mean, what do you mean? Like, to have him call us? Yeah. So, yes. We know Wrestling Machine 28. <laughs> he, he's a stand-up guy. He keeps... He's he's a bouncer in our... He's a moderator. He's a virtual bouncer. And he's been there from day one and keeps let's shit in this, line. Okay. This. So, hopefully we're caught up. The problem is with XSplit, there's always, like, almost a minute lag. So, let's get that... Um, we are caught up. We are live. We are 100% caught up. The problem is I, I start going off on stuff. Okay, so you do that. I'll do <clears throat> Julian Smith. Oh, I don't know why I said his name in that voice. Bill Pullman was in the 1988 movie Serpent and the Rainbow, directed by Wes Craven, which is so scary. I remember the name, Serpent and the Rainbow. That's a good name. I like oh, weak that. hands. I like that, Serpent and the Rainbow. Yeah, I have not seen that. They don't smell good? No, I just burp. Oh. I thought it'd be gross to burp right in the back. Yeah, that would be pretty gross. It smells like hot cocoa. They look like little worms a little bit. <laughs> How is that any different than a Cheeto? Weird little grubs. So these are from Paul, uh, Critical Leech Japan. It's Tohato Caramel Corn. Potato. Tohato, not potato. It just smells like somebody put Cheetos. Good night, said word. Oh, thank you again, Sedward. Good night, buddy. I appreciate it. Oh, I will. I already love it. My, yeah. It's my baby. <laughs> I already love it. It's like my. It's I'm like, gonna move out. The baby's gonna take over. Tastes like um, caramel corn and sugar crisp. You know, bad. You're pretty good. I'm not. I'm not loving the cocoa though. I like the caramel part. It tastes like somebody took caramel corn and just put a, a little pouch of hot cocoa and went... They probably did. Oh, I like them. Oh, yeah, I think they're good. Oh, well, then they're all yours. You enjoy them. You enjoy your prosciutto chips. Uh, Eat another one. See if it's still <laughs> as gross. Uh, oh, it smells like a Flintstones vitamin. Mm. These are good. They do taste like a caramel corn. Ugh. Oh. It does taste rancid. Yeah. It tastes like sour to me. Sour milk. What the hell's wrong with their cream cheese? They, they, they the don't, Japanese people just they hate don't, bagels. They don't eat cheese, so they think the cheese tastes That's like... That's true. There is not a lot of cheese in Asian culture. No. Uh -huh. It really isn't. But so when they eat bagels, they're like, this is terrible. It tastes like that. Blah. You know, sometimes you think it might be better on second try. No. That might have been worse. I think it had more of the badness on it. God. 
Okay. What's the movie where like... they skin that dog? I oh, don't no idea. That was vague and disturbing. Thanks. Trey dropping little nightmares in here. <laughs> uh, wrestling said I got the stomach flu. What do you guys recommend to get better? Chicken soup. And ginger ale. Yeah. He is right. Whoa. Please don't. I don't know. It's not you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm pointing at me. What the hell are you trying to say? I was saying he's a Sprite guy. I mean, oh, I like, yeah, I prefer Sprite to I ginger ale. Ginger ale. Um, yeah, man. Chicken soup and is like one of the saltines. best things because it's liquid and it hydrates you and isn't, a, it sounds gross, but it's not, it's not the worst thing in the world to throw up. Because that's the thing you got to think of is if you are well, expelling it, do you really like want, you got to think about what's coming up. Maybe yeah. even just chicken noodle broth. I don't like this conversation. Well, he's asking. He's I not know. doing well, so I'm trying to help out. And if you got a if you got a painkiller, take it. But chew it up. Let it absorb. Well, because my when I get some viruses, they're extraordinarily painful. Like I asked, I got problems. So, so when it happens, my stomach convulses, and it's like, it feels like I did ten million sit-ups and I can't stop. It's the worst feeling. Well, I guess that wasn't summer. Well, I got a food poisoning, the buffalo wild wings, and that was ungodly painful. I felt like Mike Tyson was endlessly punching me in my stomach for about two days, and I hallucinated. <laughs> and thought you were a drummer boy or something. So that was a long time ago. I did think I was in a drum line, and I thought I was on, I was I was on the ground trying to get up, and I was so frustrated that I couldn't get up. My whole dream. Have you had a fever dream where it's just like you're like climbing stairs to nowhere, and it's freaking, or you're trying to do a uh, math riddle, and it's just it's endless numbers. It's nonsense. You can't solve it. I remember seeing stairs. Oh my god! I just had one recently. Uh, basically, a fever dream. Even though I didn't have a fever, I, I was text. I told you this. I was trying to text Jen, and it was um. I could the words didn't make sense in the text. I was just trying to convey a simple message, and everything was like blee, blah 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 seven nine four five. I'm like, oh my god, what is wrong with my phone? I was getting so so. Then I I did like voice to text. And I was like, tell Jen I need, and it was like R two D two. It was like it was just <laughs> nonsense, and it was infuriating. Anyway, the yeah, we burnt that Cheeto. It was disgusting. Crit. Get out of here. No, it's a, uh, we're trying not to get behind. We're fine. Oh, the metal crit <laughs> is good peeps and first says cannibal holocaust i haven't seen that that's uh shit eli roth i believe right metal pigeon is here hey metal pigeon hey. you eat that but not the burnt cheeto for five bucks yeah because that's real gross and it's floating in water and it was probably stale because it's been sitting in the bag for a while that's true no one's sitting in the bag shame it was on you it was in an open box as I said, I'm newish to Critical Eats, but I agree. I'm a hoe. I ain't a whore. American Horror Story. <laughs> there you go. We watched the first, first season. season. Second season felt a little lame, so we, we lost interest. First season was good. I like that one. A little weird with the gimp. A little sexual. but It was good, though. Yeah. Taco Bell is terrible to throw up. Ooh, mm. that would ruin it. That's the problem is when you get sick with something, it does tend to ruin. Yeah. That. Like I still can't eat chicken wings properly. Elizabeth said, Halluc hallucination sick is Yeah, okay, so I'm not the only sick. one who gets that. It's horrific. It's not fun. <laughs> it's not good hallucination. Yeah. Inferno says, falling dreams. I love it for some strange reason. It seems liberating. I hate those. I haven't had that in a long They're time. They're weird. Now, I'm, Turns now, your stomach. now I'll probably have one. For hallucination. I love Whitfields. Well, well we love Wrestling Machine 28. Although, <laughs> although you're going to have to write me personally or something and tell me your damn name because... I get a I get a call and like, hey, we we're calling my him like, who? I don't know your damn name. <laughs> like, you mean Wrestling Machine Twenty Eight? Yeah. <laughs> we're yeah. we're so close with him that I I know him I only know him by his online name. Captain yeah, Captain A Cross. Oh, he knows what it is. Yes. The Axel Super Guru. Captain A Cross, do you know how to pronounce that? The yeah, Axel guys. Super Go Go Go. But yes, Sedward's giving that to us. That's an incredible knife. Candace said I had a gizmo Furby. Oh, that's a cute. great idea. Yeah. I've never seen that. I haven't either. I would have bought that in a second. No, it's like $700 on eBay. Alan's Esquivel. By the way, hi, Akron. You can say hi. Hi, Akron. Captain Akron's Akron. all up on it on our IGTV, Instagram TV. By the way, guys, if you're not on Instagram TV, we are. So we've been posting stuff on Instagram TV. Thank, thank you, Elizabeth, for... Showing us the way. 
I fucking love you, y'all. Y'all so cool. Y'all showed me how to cook the quesadilla as a kid. Awesome. Well, thank you, Allens. Um, well, I think we're pretty cool too. No, thank you. I'm glad we. You know, that's that's part of it. Is like, and we're gonna be doing more uh, recipes as well. We actually, the next one is again Elizabeth. I told you, Elizabeth's like our like. Our, she's uh, on our ear to the ground. She's the one who listens like train coming that way. <laughs> like she's the one that lets us know what's going on. And we're doing a uh, crunch wrap Mexican pizza because that's something they're testing. That sounds yeah. amazing. So that will be our next recipe. But Alan's, uh, we there will be more. And I'm glad that you know. I think this is stupid, but I think cooking is such an essential thing to learn. Mm -hmm. So if we can in any way show you something like through something fun like a quesadilla or Mexican pizza mm -hmm. or pizza pizza or whatever teach you something like that that's awesome and thank you i really really appreciate you um checking out the videos and coming in and telling us are you not a kid now that was like a couple years ago i guess yeah. right that's a big difference yeah, if you're Maybe 15 like 16, 18, 18 or three 18, years yeah. ago yeah that is a big difference metal pigeon asks jam what do you bring to work to eat usually or do you go out i i very rarely go out um Except when we get overcharged. Yeah, I tried to order from Subway Yeah, we today, got charged 15 bucks and they, and they hung up on me. From the website to go pick it up. And it said, this payment cannot be processed. And again, payment cannot be processed. So I went to Walmart and got some nasty shit. But they and charged then, us. Yeah, and my bank told me, so I called them and they hung up on me. But, but I got it taken care of. No, the bank didn't hang up on you. No, no, no. Subway, no, 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 Subway hung up on me. Um, what do I usually take? Varies. I mean, I do Sometimes I'll make, I made meatloaf this week. Yeah, he made meatloaf. I made a meatloaf because I make a mean meatloaf. I, I put cheese sticks in the middle mm -hmm. and then do a blend of pork, ground pork and uh, ground beef. And I, I, I do liquid smoke and I do Worcester sauce and I do a layer of organic balsamic, uh, my favorite balsamic, organic uh, balsamic uh, ketchup, um, even a little mustard, some, uh, gr uh, for this week we did gluten-free breadcrumbs. Yeah. Because I, I actually eat low carb when we're not eating, you know. And, um, and and various other ingredients, and it, it comes out so good. You solidify it overnight, and you cut in these big, nice chunks. You got the cheese going through it, but it was good. It was good. It was good. But um, I usually sometimes I'll make stuff, and then if not, we'll just do like a homemade soup. Yeah, I usually do a soup. But she also gets food trucks like a couple times one, a month. Once a month. It's it's been more though. It was at one time. And the food like, truck. And if there's a food truck, she goes and gets something there. We did it, have it's, a food truck, good. and I yeah, didn't go to it. Seventeen dollar lobster roll. They had lobster rolls, but then there's a like a cheesesteak food truck, and I hmm. kind of just had that, and I was like, I actually I was trying to eat lighter. Yeah, I know. That's and it the didn't thing work is, out. When we're doing four to five videos a week, we have to. That's the thing is like when we're eating, like we're gonna crank it up and do more videos. So I was that have, that's our meal. Like you know we you know for you health, but anyway, so. What the F is hallucination sickness? Uh, it's when you get so dehydrated and your body's just so, you're just so out of it, you literally start hallucinating. You start like having these weird dreams. But, and it's, but they're like, some of them you're half awake. They're like waking visions or it's like, I'm guessing it's kind of like when people like ayahuasca, like you're awake, you're you just feel like you're tripping balls and you feel like crap. It's awful. Well, I remember I was sick one time and I started dreaming about stairs. I kept going upstairs. Well, that's what I said earlier. Stairs. stairs. Yeah. That was exactly the my game. John said, as a kid, he was. Uh, I was hallucinating sick. I heard Peter and the wolf for the first time and thought the wolf was in the hall. Isn't that crazy? It scared the shit out of him. <laughs> like, it's a weird, weird sensation. Huh? I like salad fingers from Hostel. I don't know what that is. What the hell is a salad finger? I have no idea, and I've never seen Hostel, but boy, that sounds probably mm. real gross. <laughs> Wrestling says, it's going to destroy my character gimmick if I tell you guys my name. We have to know your name. I was going to say, if you give, a, if you have someone call us for a reference and we don't know your name, we're going to, it's going to sound like a big well, fraudulent I, yeah, operation. Yeah, honestly, we're not going to answer the phone. That's true. Number one, because we don't answer the phone. If I don't, don't ever the They have to leave a message. So I would have to call back and if he, I guess maybe the person would leave the name then. But even then, we're like, I'm not so-and-so. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's up to you. And Verna said, do you have we an don't. in and out? Nope. We don't. Everyone says how great it is. We do not have an in and out. Don't take the Lord's name in vain. Did I? I don't know if that was you. Might have went towards Elizabeth. Oh, okay. The lover's quarrel. Yeah, lover's quarrel. He's my personal Lord and Savior. <laughs> I love to cook. I just never tried sharing it. <laughs> that To me, that's the most fun part. I, I, I actually, I love cooking for a large amount of people. And it's just fun, like especially if I have the whole day to prepare and do it right. 
I like it. And, and I tend to not end up eating very much that day because I'm more concerned about everyone yeah. else. And I'll take the, the jacked up looking burger. Like I take it like, oh, that one's really ugly. That's my test one. I'm like sticking in, checking the temperature and like cutting it in, make sure everything's right. That's my test. I always have one test item. And even when it's just us two and I'll take the crappy one and give her the good one. That's what you got to do, right? You got to give the people the good one. Yeah. I but now will. I'm going to have that damn knife and I'm going to cut the chicken so thin it'll be invisible. Your plate is going to be a, a, a <laughs> stack of invisible meat. Jersey Mike's is where it's at. Uh, Subway. Jersey Mike's is where. You know, I you're almost right. went. We should have just. I know you're right. I know. I, I totally agree at this point. I'm. I'm. I think I'm shutting yeah. Subway down. Well, I was almost gonna go to Jersey well, Mike's. <laughs> literally. But it was a little further away. I needed to go to the store. Oh yeah. Well, you actually have an option for Jersey Mike's. Yeah. Shame on you for picking Subway. And I was over. trying to get a, a lighter option. It tells Jersey Mike's has. I don't know. I've only next time. <laughs> I I agree. I agree with Inferno though. Yeah, I'm done. But, I'm serious. I'm done with Subway, man. They've messed up so much. Yeah. That every time we go, there's gross. Now the only reason why I was going there is because right next to Walmart, I need to go in Walmart to get oil for the car. By the way, I'm having uh, oh shit. In honor of Fourth of July and the Burger King burger that just came out. Did you guys see? If you haven't seen it yet, we did a uh, American brew house burger re uh, recipe. But that would be a good recipe, though, wouldn't it? I don't know how to do that burger, uh, that beer sauce. But anyway, sorry. Oh, yeah. uh, we did the American Brew House burger from um, uh, Burger, burger King. King. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It was phenomenal. It's and huge. In honor of America and its birthday. It's, uh, you just farted. He just farted, no, guys. No, that was, that was my tribute. Thanks for <laughs> stepping all over it. That was loud. <laughs> that like a By the way, you guys think it's funny. I did a Skype interview. <laughs> with a TV producer and it did that real loud. <laughs> I was on a Skype interview just like this and I'm like, hey, yeah, I think... <laughs> and to the point where I was like, they probably didn't hear that. And it got... And then they're like... And, and then I... So it got awkward. So I was like... that. It's like, excuse my chair. Had a lot of beans for lunch. <laughs> Thought it was a good way to smooth it over and they're like... Huh. Potty. <laughs> Potty humor, cool. No, like I remember, like I I would tell jokes to like break ice and br break ice. Like I broke ice, just like, broke wind. Um, <laughs> no, I would like if something weird happened or awkward, and they were the most stoic son of a bitches on the planet. Like it was the harshest room to ever work. Like these are people who are like, I think you're funny. I like I like what you got, <laughs> and so I'd like, oh, they like my personality. I say something funny, like. It's weird. So you so you do like cheese? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I do like cheese. I'm like, okay, back to the main question, I guess. Like, I thought you liked personalities. Can you be? And then like, we love your personality. Can you be more like this person? And they show me a picture of Guy Fieri. Like, not really. Why do they want? What? Why not the just, same person? Why not just get give Guy another show? One of his fifth shows. Cheese sticks in the middle of a meatloaf. Mind blown. Head explodes. I'm telling you. But you know what I'm going to do from now on? I'm not joking. With Field Food Review, I mean, we've got breathe new life into the channel. I'm going to start filming like pretty much all of our meals. When we go out and do stuff with food and all that, I'm going to start filming, putting that up there. I mean, if you guys hate it and don't want to watch it, you don't have to watch it. But just rest assured, if you don't like those, there will be reviews and there will be recipe videos. But there's just going to be a lot of content. Because I'm always doing something food-wise. Yeah. Like, in fact, tomorrow... We're going to Lucky's again, and we're getting a bunch of stuff for um, Fourth of July. Or, or we're doing Fourth of July barbecue this week with my family, so I'm I'm gonna film it. All. I'm gonna film us doing the barbecue and everything. I'll show you guys the food. And the problem is not we can't always eat it on camera because just this the the way it depends on where we're at. Yeah. Like my mom and sister don't and her, you know they don't want to be on camera, so I, I'll do a lot. You know I'll, I'll show you guys the food and I'll probably try some of it and Jen will probably try some of it without you know. It won't be like a full review. It'll be more like a vlog. So if you guys end up hating it, then, you know, sorry. But stick around. There'll be reviews and recipes. Because there are people who get really pissed. And we're going to put up some stuff on the Patreon. But it's weird that... Yeah, on Patreon, Jen's going to do some... I'm uh, going to do some little... Personal recipes. Yeah. So I like baking stuff, so... So if y'all want to support us on Patreon, we got um, uh, Elizabeth, of course, is on there as one of them. We, we were growing the Patreon a little bit, and it's just... I know it sounds weird, but it's not even about the money as much as it is about knowing that um, there's a certain amount. I guess it is about money, but there's about a certain amount coming in each month that we can then allocate that solely towards the channel and the food. 
Yeah. And that's partly thanks to Elizabeth and a, a couple of a bunch of other people who've done it is that that's allowing us to expand the channel a bit. So thank you. And the more that there, and that's the thing is the more that we get on the Patreon, the more that we get on, on any of the stuff, you know, because YouTube's screwing us on, oh, yeah. on views and stuff. It's, it's really bad. We're hoping the um, Instagram thing might. It's something, just another avenue just to get more exposure. Elizabeth told us about that. And yeah. Uh, hopefully they're trying to, they're looking to monetize. There you go. So videos. I'm sorry. I got, I, I'm now we're like 20 minutes behind okay. because I started Let's talking. Go. Um, I had stare dreams too. Need to look that up. So Elizabeth. Let's go to, just go to, they're talking to each other right there. Um, go to well, somebody said hello that oh hello we i didn't see you before someone said hello oh part illusion said hello sorry part illusion hello we're behind so i start i start sharding <laughs> <laughs> someone's <laughs> in front of sharding so uh, I once have, you start sharding i have this weird recurring dream about having rented a second apartment i've forgotten about only come back to Back to it to see that my roommate and I left it trash. Sometimes it's flooded too. I, I have recurring dreams about our old apartment too. My, All the yeah. time. I actually don't, which I is strange. Always. We lived in this weird little apartment for five years. I hated it so much. I think well, I blocked it out. No, no it, in the it beginning got, it, it was nice. It started nice. turning. In the, yeah, in the it was pretty was cool nice. at first. Love, hate, mostly hate. True story. Short. <laughs> Cannibal sh Holocaust. Ruggiero. 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 Oh, okay. You said Diodato. it. Diodato. Eli Roth. Okay, Eli Roth, Green Inferno. Oh, oh, okay, thank you. Thank you, Part Illusion. Okay, Eli Roth was Green Inferno. Count Humble else was Ruggiero. I'm guessing Ruggiero. Diodato. So, thank you. Nick I just asked, had a Jason that. Callen moment. We're behind, so I'm not sure. What was my Jason Callen moment? <laughs> oh, the <Favorite>. fart. <laughs> oh, did he do that? I, yeah, probably. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> Favorite well, match. the difference was his was from his butt. Mine was from my chair. <laughs> was it though? Yes. I couldn't do it that loud if you paid me to. <laughs> Favorite fast food burger. One, two, three, and go. Right now. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, hold on. Let's do this. Oh, fast Let's do this right. And one, two, three, go. Um, hold on. Give us but. a second. Wait, wait. No, no. Uh, yeah, I know. You're going to say what, what tier, what price range. We'll do two different ones. We'll do one to five dollars and then five to ten dollars. Oh, okay. So one to five. One to five. Okay, I got it. Um, Okay. One, wait, are we just going to say the name of the place? We'll say the name of the place and then we'll elaborate. Okay. One, two, three. McDonald's. Checkers. Okay. Double cheeseburger is my favorite. Okay, I just think a plain champ burger is like the best burger. They're really good too. Yeah. I, just, I love I, checkers. Uh, yeah, favorites. checker burger is amazing. But I thought I, we were going to say the same thing. I crave them double damn Okay, so five to ten. What does that mean? Oh, okay. Um. Okay. Okay, one, two, three. Burger, burger twenty one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we just we had burger twenty one recently. So and damn good. It was the it was the most unbelievable best burger we ever had. I don't know if that's a national chain or whatever, but we'll that like again, we went there. Now looking back on it, I should have just did a video for it. Yeah. But I just I was worried about putting videos up and getting a hundred, two hundred views because it screws up our whole algorithm and I don't really care now. We just need to do it. So we're just gonna put up everything. Um and it was it was a cool place and it was they had awesome sauces and stuff. To dip your fries mm -hmm. in and, and it was it was ridiculous it was how really good the good. burger was yeah so our burger 21 and then like let's say like, what's a what's a runner up to that like honestly i've only had five guys twice i really like them from what i remember but it's been a very long time yeah um actually like outback? outback that's what i was gonna say outback has extremely good burgers as well so there are so many good burger places though there we're gonna have to try those but so right now burger 21 for five and up and McDonald's double cheeseburger and Checkers Champ Burger for me from one to five. Isn't that crazy? We picked the one dollar burgers. The double cheeseburger is not. No. Yeah. Fa uh, favorite fast food tough burger crowd. is a yeah. double meat at Whataburger. Tough, tough crowd yeah. about the execs. Yeah, they were. Whataburger. We don't have. Oh, we Water used to have Whataburger. It's absolutely that was one, of one of my favorites. favorite things. Yeah. I, 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 I know. I, really I told the story a million times, but we used it was open twenty four hours. And we used to always get it on the way home from our shows. Subway is dying. Closing stores everywhere. Food is revolting. Okay. Franchises are revolting. The, the other meaning to the word. Other chains are taking over. <laughs> That's good. The other meaning of <laughs> yeah. revolting. It's, other chains. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm sorry, but Subway's not picked up their game. They've got competition, and the competition's past them. Yeah. Jen bakes. Sometimes. I I, yeah. I mean, I have. Yeah, I she's, honestly, she's more into baking and better at it than I am. I, I am... I'm very good with meats and certain type yeah. of cooking. I can just instinctively make those things. 
I don't even need a recipe for them because I'm really just that good. No, it sounded like I was bragging. And but I'm, I'm just saying that's something I'm good I'm at. Good following at. instructions. And no, I'm baking. I've followed it. And I go, why does it look stupid? I tried to make bread and it was a freaking football. <laughs> I'm like, why? And I tried again and it was a heavier football. It was a shot put. So I don't know what I did wrong. But and Eliz Elizabeth, we do. Wait, yeah, sure. We all believe you for reals. I don't know what that means. But you farting. Oh, okay. Farting in your chair. <laughs> you guys got Texas right. Is that the one, maybe? We got Texas Roadhouse. We do. We do. Well, remember, like, it looks just like Cody's. It's, yeah. right there. it's right by Walmart by the beach. That's a Texas Roadhouse. Why? Is it good, Elizabeth? Well, remember, I was asking. I said, doesn't Elizabeth mention that place? Oh, okay. Was that it? Oh, I don't remember that. Uh, we were walking, but anyways. Metal Pigeon. We have a great local Houston chain here for burgers mm. called Bex Prime. Amazing burgers, default mustard, none of this mayo shit, <laughs> but pricey and their fries are terribly strange enough. Well, that, that started very positive and kind of. What, is, what does that mean? What, what yeah, do you... I don't know what that means, but I love the local uh -oh, places. Oh, audio is getting hinky. Oh. Son of a bitch. Sorry. Burger under $5 in and out, over five, five guys. I'll kind keep of my scratchy. Answer short. Hi, 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 says Kristen. Hi, Kristen. Hey, Kristen, what's going on? Apparently, we have scratchy audio. Sorry. Stripper Looker says, I wish I had Nick's awesome beard and Jen's beautiful eye makeup. Don't judge me. Why would we judge you? Good combo. Thank you. No idea which mic. Hello. It's says, not. It's it's not the mic. It's the program. It starts going. Tick, 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 tick. It starts clipping. It's not the mics, unfortunately. I prefer over Outback, if that means anything. Haha, ha, I meant their fries are terrible. Like, they can't make good fries to save their lives. It's an easy thing to execute, but they can't get it right. I just saw Jason dancing on screen. I know what that means. Because your hair is on point. Oh, well, thank you, Trey. Great. Your hair is on point. This is my vodka, which I need a little chaser because this is straight. Well, I was going to the beer, so. No, it's fine. On. We got a cheers. A <laughs> little sip. I know. A little cheers proper when you get back. Great. So the fucking audio is still messed up. Is it still messed up? Yeah, it will be. So just stop talking about it because it's going to piss me off. Piece of trash. Because I paid for the damn program. Piece of trash. Because if we didn't, that little dancing Jason wouldn't show up. So. Um. Yeah, I, I could. Uh, another beer is fine. You want a beer? Yeah. Do you want to try the Bud Light Orange? No, I don't. That's from my mama. Yeah. Mama can drink the Bud Light oh. Orange. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So thank you, Trey. I'm sorry. That's probably really loud. Um. Hey, is Jay Loomis in it? Oh, hey, Jay Loomis. <laughs> Jay Loomis is like so embedded into our little world that um, anytime we do videos, <laughs> like today we were just at Lucky's and I saw the mozzarella and I had to just go, um, ooh, they have a uh, handmade mutarata because it's just, it's so douchey and it just drives them nuts. Um, but also, uh, Jay, did you post that video? Jay Loomis did a video, a, a recipe video, I believe. Um, I didn't see if you actually posted the video or not, but if you did, uh, let me know and I'll share it. Um, okay, Elizabeth prefers Outback. Metal Pigeon, ha ah, I'm in there. Okay, sorry, she just read that. And my hair's on point. Again, thank you, I appreciate that. By the way, uh, my sister-in-law cuts my, the top of my hair, but I actually do the sides, all this myself. Yeah, fix the audio hat, man. <sighs> Wrestling. I don't think there's any gimmick that's going to give you thicker, a thicker beard. I, it's genetics. There might be some stuff that makes it look a little nicer, like a, you know, like a like a nice oil or something. But I put nothing in my beard. It's it's just and you remember. I mean, my beard is not here. I used to have. I looked like I. <laughs> I looked like I was saying I have, I have boobs down to here. Um, my beard was like down to here, and I used to have braids just down to here. It's just genetic, man. I mean, you can take care of it to, to prevent split ends, but I mean, as far as the actual thickness, you rubbing Vicks Vapor Rub on your face isn't going to give you more pores. Isn't going to give you more follicles. Because if that were true, bald guys would just be rubbing Vicks Vapor Rub on their head. Oh, Elizabeth's getting another drink. Be right back. Look at that. I'm, I'm hip with the kids. I know what BR, BRB means. I heard genetics help. Yeah, there you go, stripper. Yeah, you're exactly right. It is genetics. It's fully genetics. Like I could have the full, du I had the full Duck Dynasty beard. Um, it was a bit much. I'll be honest with you. Be careful what you wish for. I would think better off rubbing Rogue on your head. Right, right. I mean, if you're gonna like, why would you rub Vic's Vapor Rub? That doesn't like if your chest would get hairy as shit. What about your hands? 
If there's a cream that can make your hair, your, the, the top of your head hairy, and you rub it on, well, you better wear gloves. Oh, Big Trey foot. thinks he's leaving now. Trey's leaving. Trey, he ain't time for you to leave yet. What am I freaking hitting? Okay. Well, we got it. Well, hold on. If he hasn't left yet, we need to hold on, Trey. We got to cheers you, brother. You donated like crazy tonight. You Thank rock. You. We love you. He's he's our BFF. He's he's my BFF. He's BFF for you by proxy. But thanks for making me feel like shit about that. Do you do you, <laughs> does he does he call you on the phone? <laughs> does he call does you at home? Does anyone know what that's from? Don't tell him. Does he call you at home? Does he call you at home? <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it, but I had to give a little because I probably did. Jen, I love you. Nick, I love you. Thank you. We love you we too. We love you too, and you know we do. Even though you don't call me anymore, but that's okay. That's okay. Oh, he's going night night. Yeah, he's going. He's going bed bye. You go bed bye. <laughs> what? Yeah. I paid to. Watch Boom! He got it. <laughs> ha. Damn, Trey got it immediately. He must be like right on. Is he right on? Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, he 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 gets me. He just he gets me. I knew what it was. I get you too. There's no different way. I bet you he can, I bet you can give me a mean massage too. <laughs> Strong hands. Thank God, because I don't want to do it no more. Look at that. Love you too, Eliz. Now go away. <laughs> That's good. I heard mozzarella oh the other day on a munchies video I got so <laughs> triggered. <laughs> I've not done a, a video yet because okay. of that kind of realization that I great lighting. Don't That's a rough one. Like, That's yeah. a weird one that you don't really get until you start filming it. Like God, everything looks like a, I look like I'm nine hundred and like, hey, eat my food and the shadows and stuff are so bad in your face. Yeah. Like if you don't have proper lighting, it's ridiculous. and your food looks like crap. Yeah. And those, no, I totally get it. We have lights right now. Um Yeah. Uh it, it depends on your setup. You know, you might have to get a. I mean, if you if you need, I'll, I'll send you a link to really inexpensive but really efficient lighting, and it, it it really helps. It's what we use. So if if you want, I'll send you a link to it. Yeah, if we have these lights, that look like crypt keepers. Because I know I know you're on uh on our Facebook. You look like the crypt keeper. Oh, it's unbelievable. Sometimes we we'll do the lighting, and it just looks like under lighting, like we're telling about to tell a horror story. Well, the picture you took the other day in the car when we did, I think it was the one thing. I look like a fucking. I look like a ghoul, like, like these dark ass circles. It, it looks like eyes. we're about to tell a campfire horror story. We're like, look at this burger. <laughs> it's so bad. Yeah. It's like, oh, I didn't know I looked like the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> or Dr. Paul Bear. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about him. Dr. Paul Bear. That's who I look like. That a lo that's a local thing, wasn't it? Was it? I think Dr. Did you know who Dr. Paul Bear was? Does everyone remember that, especially in the 80s and 90s, there was always like the late night Friday or Saturday I horror guess he movies? I like an Elvira. And there was, just, Elvira, exactly. It was, Elvira, a, it was our Elvira. Yeah, it was our Elvira. Yeah, other, other kids had Elvira. <laughs> I, had a, I had a pudgy man who wore like... Um, I guess what it looks like now. Okay, that's a good idea. We can show a picture of it. Dr. Paul Bear. Just, you're going to take a picture of it. You know how to... Dr. Paul Bear. Well, you don't normally do that. I'm always like, just, just say it. Well, like, I, I want, don't want to. I wanted to win. Creature feature. It is. It is local. St. Pete, Florida. I, I used to love it. It was always like those weird, like, creep shows and stuff like that. And he was just like, he was the host. There you Oh, he's... No. That's, That's not how he looked when he hosted the show. I remember. That's what I remember okay. looking like. Well, he's... he's pretty spelt looking feller there who am i thinking of i think i'm thinking of the undertaker's manager but what um the fuck is that? that's dr paul bear and he used to he used to host elvira. the show like elvira and he was like good evening tonight on the show <laughs> yeah and as a kid it creeped me <laughs> out yeah look at that yeah, that was really cool i love that like that gives me the good feels there that's it's just cool it was like he's in a basement he would introduce and then between commercial breaks he'd talk about it like it was exactly elvira yeah Minus the tatas. I know yeah. they get they get her. Get echo, they go hey kids. <laughs> he had nothing to go on. That's what she had to go on. Yeah. At least to get her started. I don't know. Well, even women like the liar though, because she's funny. Honestly, never watched. Oh, she's really funny. It, like she's very. Her, funny. She's quick. I didn't watch it. She's, she's a basic comedian. She's super. Oh, she? She's very fast. Spookies, tales from the crypt. Yeah. Hey, do, does anyone she's remember scared. Friday the Thirteenth? The show. No, it was exactly like Tales from the Crypt, but it was like in a like a um like a like like a pawn shop, like an oddity shop, 
and every item was cursed. It's like that Rick and Morty episode. It's just like it. It's great. I think they could revive something like that for, um, and actually, Freddy Krueger had a show like that, but it was, it was really hokey. So what, what movie, when you guys were a kid, scared you the most? Who asked us that recently? I saw it on Facebook, I thought. Someone said it. Someone asked that. Oh, no, I think Bobby might have asked that. Oh, Because maybe. you, uh... Oh, maybe you, because you said poltergeist, guys. right? Poltergeist so yeah, what show me. scared you? By the way, I gotta tell you guys, man. We're uh, like, we're, well, actually, probably the, like my closest friend, to be honest with you, Bobby. Um, I told you about this guy. Other he, than me. Well, you're my one, you're my best friend. If that goes without saying, everyone knows that. No, they um, don't. He's I'm my best kidding. friend who doesn't live in this house. Thank you. Um, and he's a sculptor. I know I've told you guys about him, but. Like, you know, they say don't meet your heroes, don't that, and that is true. Unfortunately, in music, I've met some of my heroes, and they, well, actually, no, that's not true. Some of them are really cool, some suck. Um, Bobby, oh my god, and he absolutely is one of my heroes, and he's like now one of my closest friends. We go over there and hang out at his place, he doesn't live too far from here. But I got you're gonna look up his stuff, yeah. We what gotta show you, again? Bobby, Bobby Cosy. Bobby Cosy, he's Cossie. the he, he's literally like a world renowned sculptor and like for Hollywood. It's like if you look up Joker. Realistic Joker, life size Joker, it's him. He's like world famous for this. So, but we were talking about, we were at his house and we were talking about horror movies. And uh, you said Poltergeist. What did I say? When I was a kid, it was definitely Nightmare on Elm Street. It scared the shit out of me because I, I felt like you couldn't escape escape him when you sleep. Yeah, I think you guys have seen that. But that is a sculpture. Please focus. Of Heath Ledger, obviously, as the Joker. You guys see that? That is a that is a life size sculpture. It's literally like the best in the world. It is. I mean, it's like, it's unbelievable. Yeah. The guy is a legit genius. Look him up. B o b b y c a u s e y c a u s e y Bobby Cosby. Freddy's best. I love Freddy Inferno. Yeah, there you go. Kristen Freddy, Friday Thirteenth series. Kristen remembers that. Jenga hella jelly. <laughs> You're right. She did. I think I was <laughs> really jealous. Okay, and Inferno remembers it too. Friday, I, Friday, I, was I love the Friday 13th show. Such a good idea. I think they could bring that back for like a Netflix series. And I don't want them to make it like crazy, stupid, graphic, and dark. I want that hokiness to it. I like that. I miss that. Must be on Facebook. All my pictures disappeared. I was going to um, show the picture of us at Spooky. Well, oh, oh Jesus. Like was, Bobby. That would have showed a and... picture. I just realized the picture I was going to show would have showed his number. <laughs> Um, no, I actually wasn't. I was joking. I don't care. They're best Bobby Cosby, the crow. Uh, Freddy Krueger scared Kristen. Freddy is the best character ever. Titanic actually kind of scared me, of all things. I think drowning in the middle of the ocean is horrifying. And to add to it, it was yeah, that's scary as shit. Yeah. Like here, here's the crazy story of this. He, that's a sculpture, guys, of Brandon Lee. That's not real. That's not a guy in makeup. That's a sculpture from scratch. And here's the crazy story about that. He told us that was the actual outfit Brandon Lee died in. Yeah. That was the legit outfit. He made it for somebody. He somebody did. Somebody commissioned they, him they to bought, make it. They bought the outfit yeah. and then sent it to him and commissioned him and he put it on. But that, that, and he does the hair too. Yeah, I asked him because he has a um, Kiefer Sutherland. Oh, and the Heath hair is insane and it's cut and Perfect. styled just like Kiefer and I said who did the hair I said did you cut oh, the I hair he cut the hair oh I'm like do, a... do you want to do my hair yeah that's how whole... charge for my hair $70,000 okay well, I'll just <laughs> keep cutting my own hair um shoot Fair. how good is that guys though seriously like I'm a musician and I, I'm, I'm an artist and all that stuff but like there's times when you're around certain people that you're like Jesus God you feel very insignificant but in a good way because it motivates you and he's the nicest human being on the planet. Yeah, he's very nice. It really is. He's just, oh, God, he's so freaking cool. But that's just crazy to be around that. Going to the studio, and he's just, like, nonchalantly. He had a Hellboy, like a seven-foot Hellboy that he's working on. And you're just like, oh, my God. It looks like Ron Perlman in the corner. It's just, it's. Yeah. And a Chris Reeves, that's. Uh, I'll go there. I'll show the Chris Reeves. They'll get a kick out of it. see. Original Poltergeist, that clown doll scene. after me up. Yeah. That was the first Bobby poltergeist Christmas and that goddamn clown and that goddamn steak sliding across the counter was really gross. And then the pool with the skeletons. That's his sculpture. It's insane. Chris, look at that. 
And he had those. He was working on those when we were there. Yeah. Anyway, sorry guys. He just, I just, I thought that you guys would love that. Like, part illusion is back. The power. Because there's out. a lot of horror stuff. Yeah. He's gonna be a spooky empire. Yeah. And we're gonna be hanging out with him. In fact, oh, I'm gonna sure. be, at, I'm gonna be at the booth with him. Um, at Spooky Empire in Orlando. So if anyone lives in Orlando and they like horror stuff, go to Spooky Empire in October, and we're gonna be there in a booth with him, hanging out with him. Yeah. He's got some. I'm not gonna give it away, but he's got some amazing stuff he's working on right now. Part illusion is back. Their power went out. Who? Who said that? Part illusion. Oh, really? Gorgeous. Was oh, it raining? Is it? What's going mm -hmm. on there? I hate when power goes out. <laughs> Makes life terrible. Um. Back in the day, Back. local TV had. Okay, so everyone had a local. Isn't okay. that crazy? Yeah, that is weird. Every every local place and had a horror. And that was just horror. like an everyday thing. It's weird. <laughs> Who's gonna be the local affiliate yeah. and creeps the kids out? Scariest thing as a kid, Candyman kind of screwed me up. I never saw that, but I remember seeing it, thinking that would scare me. I saw it. I, I thought it was like it's like Bloody Mary. Like, Bloody Mary scared the shit out of me. Scared my sister. Well, it was. More. It was a modern day Bloody Mary. I know my friend was Sam was that's right. he, he, Sam thought that it was, was creepy. That's right. He was in the mirror. I Candy like man, that. Candy, yeah. They, uh, they uh, Toby was hot in the Friday Thirteenth series. Toby, who's Toby? Yeah, who's Toby? It was rad, the old one. I like the new one. It was rad, the new one. I prefer the new one. Yeah. yeah. My favorite um, movie of twenty seventeen was the new It. Wrestling ass. Any plans to get a wrestling, horror night? It's not like a wrestling ass. Wrestling ass. Um asked hey and he i'm calling on behalf horror. of the wool um he's looking for a job like oh you mean wrestling ass <laughs> and he and he plans to get a horror nights at universal oh uh, actually we talked to, maybe we talked to jp and julia about that we might i don't know i don't know it's it right around the same time of us going to spooky and that's spooky empire again is a horror festival in orlando it's like a three four day event so we're going to be there that whole time so i don't know if we're going to also then squeeze in Halloween horror we'll nights. see Christian Ray says, Heart Heath Ledger, rest in peace. Zinferno. That's pure talent. Creepy as fuck, but still. Oh, you just stare at it and you're like, oh my god. Yeah. Anything with aliens still terrifies me. Who's that? He's playing with a piece of coal that apparently fell out of my bag. The because I'm <laughs> Santa. Santa Claus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's pure talent. Uh, okay, as, uh, anything with aliens. Again. Still terrifies me, says Kristen. Aliens is one that scares a lot of yeah. people. Yeah, I was barely a teenager, but Blair Witch really affected me because I had no idea what the movie, what the movie was going was, into. The, the the way they did that and the marketing was genius. It was good. It was genius. When my sister saw it; she thought it was real. That's the genius. And I didn't. No see movie it now could but... ever get away with. I got an argument. I saw a documentary on MTV where the filmmakers simply said, "We go to University of Florida." And this is our idea. And this, I knew it was fake. I saw the fucking guy say it was fake. And then what happened was people started believing it was real, and they pulled that documentary because they're like, "What?" That helped it. Yeah, they're like, don't, don't. I thought it was very creepy. And then, this, and this is a college graduate, mind you, at the time, who was arguing with me. And you know, guess what college you went to? I don't know. Florida, same one they went to. <laughs> and I was like, they went at the same time as you. And she argued with me that I was wrong. This is real. I was like, no, it's not. I said, no, it's not. Not only that. If, you, if you're arguing that it's real, you're taking away from their creativity of it. But the genius of it was that. Because to this day, I still think it's the most high, highest percentage grossing movie in history. Meaning, like, it only cost like $20,000 mm -hmm. and it made $150 million. So whatever. The, I am nowhere near smart enough. I ain't no math magician. <laughs> I liked Paranormal Activity, too. I'm back from my live stream. Jason is back, and I think we, we're delayed. So let's go ahead. Do and the whole arm around her thing. Hi, Jason. I'm glad I am friends with I don't know what rock that means. stars. Is this what you mean? Because this ain't going to last too long. I threw my back out real bad. That's his excuse. Psh. <laughs> if, I did, if we were walking around the store, I did that, you go, what? what, what? <laughs> What's on my back? <laughs> what did you just put back here? That's how often oh, it shit. happens. I see. I just hurt myself. Did you? Yeah, I sure did. I threw my back out really bad. Like, nasty bad. Like, almost emergency room bad. Nick farted. Uh, the crow is so sad. <laughs> uh, Jason, oh, Nick farted while you were away. <laughs> really darn it. Favorite anti-hero. Go. Deadpool. Spawn. Deadpool. Oh, Spawn's a good one. Spawn's great. Uh, who said that? <laughs> That's what was his share, but whatever. Inferno. Uh, Spawn, uh, the Spawn cartoon, not the movie, the cartoon on HBO was, I love that. That got me into that. Um, but I'm going to go with Deadpool. 
don't know. He's an antihero. It's what about Catwoman? Is she antihero? What is she? Mm, maybe yeah. She's not really a villain. I kind of like her. She's kind of a villain. Yeah, that that'd be an antihero. Like they're not horrible, yeah. but they also kind of work on their own rules. I mean, I, I guess Wolverine would kind of be maybe an antihero. Well, I like Wolverine. He's in that vein. Yeah. Although not in the movies, but in the comic book he is. He's a dick. In the comic book. Oh yeah. Oh. Little trivia. Does anyone know who actually? Good night, Kristen. Have oh, good night, Kristen. Have a good night. Um, does anyone know a little movie trivia? Julian was still here. You know it. Um, who was actually approached about playing the original Wolverine? You know it. Danzig. Thanks. Anyway, let's move oh, on. Was I was it? asking a question. I was like, "Do you know?" I was like, "Yeah, here, let me ask a question." You're like, "Danzig." Is that who it was? Yes. And I that didn't was know that. I was, why just say it out loud? I thought you were asking me. <laughs> anyway, never mind. I, I thought, let's, let's move on. I thought he was asking me. When I said, hey, guys, do you know the answer to this? I'm a guys. I know someone did a top five video of Don't ever play trivia with her. She's like, hey, do you guys know? It's dancing. <laughs> I don't play trivia because I suck. It's dancing, by the way. Uh, Pictionary, she instantly shouts out the name of <laughs> Matt Covington says, The little lady from Poltergeist was creepy. Also, the Nightmare on Elm Street scared me so bad I stayed up all night looking at my special kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Well, and also, uh, at least you had something comforting, right? The what was that... the one that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, I just realized what he said the, the Nightmare on Elm Street. Totally. Oh, that's um, great. He said the two movies we said. Well, and also with Poltergeist, there's a scary backstory. With, well, yeah, that's with in real life. people like died and stuff. Yeah, and there was, was a, really like creepy. a bit of a curse. And the bones in the pool were real. Yeah, fuck. And Spielberg was the producer, but many believe he actually directed it. Um, but it just had backstory. Yeah, that, people, the little a, girl died and then the, the other the girl older, died. Yeah, the yeah. sister. And the older was, like, sister. there was horrible stuff. But I don't, it didn't bother me. When I was a kid, Nightmare on Elm Street scared me, so. That scared me, but you I know what? I wish I had a Spuds McKenzie poster to stare at when I was a kid because I didn't. Well, and I stared at the TV and like, oh, I'm gonna die. I slept with. The I night... woke up every five minutes. Like, <laughs> I slept with a nightlight until I was like, I wouldn't do shit. Well into my teens. That just that was just light me better for. for your I wanted a nightlight and I had one. That did nothing for I me. I had to sleep with the TV on. I still do. I wasn't allowed that privilege. Well, to this day, I still sleep with the TV on. Because that would have been the best thing, but... I sleep with the TV on I had 100% a nightlight. every time. Whether I, like, usually, lately, I've been falling asleep to Red Letter Media, if you don't know who that is. My favorite YouTube channel. Um, it's funny. I was just looking at the watching. Went to 20, 20-something, and then immediately dropped to 18. To like, Ugh. I just laugh at that when I see it jump up. Someone's like, nope. <laughs> like, what did I say in that moment? Okay, um, Jason said the first scary thing I saw as a kid was when Tunnel, well oh, that is disturbing, especially when the, the, they chopped the freaking head off the chicken yeah, That's pretty creepy the, There's no earthly way of knowing which direction we are going There's no knowing where we're blowing Which direction the wind Shut is up. blowing <laughs> Is it raining? Is it snowing? Is a hurricane a blowing? Like Not a speck of light is showing. Saying it. Is the grizzly reaper mowing? Yes. No one wants to hear this. Sure I really, do. I really wash. Don't be rude. Oh, I was being rude. I was joking. I really wish that there was a Spawn remake. As much as I hate remakes, I love a. I'd love a Spawn sequel. A se um, I think that would have to be a reboot, probably at this point. What is it like? Twenty plus years. Twenty. I never years. saw Spawn. I just, I just like. I liked the, the movie. Stuff. I thought the show was great. What came of the spirit box? A lot, especially when we went, when we went over to Bobby's. His house is oh. just like a vortex of stuff. We also brought brought our K two meter, and it just went off the chart. Like we have, we've had that for seven years. And the thing never barely gone it off ever, unless go you go, go directly up to like the microwave. Yeah, it never and, at his house, every time we ask questions, like. Blah, blah, blah. But yeah, that's crazy. And then through the spirit box, we were getting a lot of, and he swore it was his mom. So it was, it was really interesting stuff. Sad. I mean, in our house, we get stuff, but I mean, not, not like as that. much. Yeah. Candace's so, new cat driving her nuts. Aw. She's very hyper. Be patient. She's a kitten. Um, it takes sometimes you have to like train them out of that because we have a kitten that was insane. Like I couldn't even, we couldn't even touch her. She was just so afraid of the she'd world. Flip out. Yeah, she'd scratch the. I mean, she'd rip you up. But. Little little TLC and a little, you know, just I slowly 
won her over. Now she's my little baby. So, got to win her over. And if you do, um, she'll love you and no one else. That's true. She loves me kind of. No, I don't mean that. I just mean like if a stranger comes over, she's like, oh. No. So, what did Jay Loomis? So, you ever consider mall food court review series? Not a series, but I mean, we don't have that many malls. We just, we have like two that's kind of near us. Kind of. But there are a lot of good, I mean, we went, like we did the live, one of the first live ones we ever did after, I guess, the hurricane was we went to Spooky and did uh, Fat Ones. Fatones. Joey Fatones. Yeah. Um, hot dog place. And it was really good. But our, our local one doesn't, it's like a Sabaro and like a Charlie's cheesesteak. It's not a lot of stuff. So if we had better stuff, then yeah. But we are doing. Uh, well, they, they have those outside restaurants, but they're a little pricier. At the mall now. Tyrone. Outside. Those are those are just straight up restaurants, those are. Yeah, but they're part of the mall now. <sighs> yeah, those fifty dollar food court. Yeah. See, so sorry I'm late, stuck in motorcycle discord. How is everyone? Good. Uh, Sam. Thank you, Sam. Sorry for the Discord. <laughs> I gotta go go oh, where are you saying I to Kristen? Yeah, PDA is cool for about two point five seconds and back the Okay, F so off. Toby was the actress because at first I'm like, okay, Toby thinks Toby's uh, hot. I was thinking Toby being a dude. Yeah. I thought it was a guy. But Spawn would wreck them all, Glenn. I hated John Leguizamo as the clown, though. That was, I just, that didn't make sense to me. In in what? Oh, look at, look how late that is, Danzig. Okay, we are, we're like 10 minutes behind. Holy shit. See, so, yeah, I think I'll use Danzig for the answer to any and all questions from here on out. I love Danzig, by the way. I'm a big Danzig fan. Well, hello, back chat. Also, the reverse vampire effect for the creepy ghost man and poltergeist. Don't look in the mirror. I don't remember that part. I don't either. Is that that can't be the first one? Let's just go. Let's go. Then I got to Yeah, your off version of Cry Little Sister is way better than Manson's. It's real close to the original. So Thank Sam. You. Thank you, Sam. I appreciate that. And also, from what I hear, maybe the guy who wrote it prefers mine. I don't know. I know someone who knows him. Thank uh, you. Brief aside, if you really want to get creep the fuck out, visit a YouTube channel now, now obviously called <laughs> Deeper. And it's like the one threads. that's supposed to be like it's got all this really creepy stuff, and they, they swear that it makes people do shit. And apparently, I've watched some weird, some of those weird videos, and they swear that's like subliminal message. Hey, Janice. Janice. Just stay for a few minutes to say hi. We're at not. Uh, you know, I bet you we already missed them. Yeah, probably. Well, if Janice and Ed, you're not. If you're not in here, um. Uh, hey, and thank you for being a new Patreon, as well as um, that awesome snack. I, I love that. Like they, Janice and Ed sent us like the most amazing, and so did so did Elizabeth for that matter. But yeah. Janice and Ed sent us this ridiculous snack package that, and I hate it. We were supposed to do a video for it, but that's when she was recovering, and we're just, we weren't even doing videos then. So we just ended up we just we just ate it. We just ate everything, and it was so good. Yeah. And I still have, like, uh, Knott's Berry Farm jam, Knott's Berry Farm, a boysenberry jam, boysenberry, um, mustard, boysenberry, chipotle sauce, boysenberry um, salsa, and then boysenberry bacon jerky, which is the greatest thing that's ever existed. Yeah. And then, guys, a bunch of Japanese stuff. And also, it was just it was so freaking cool. Jason said, I still feel the presence of my dad in my place. May he rest in peace. Well, Jason, if we ever head up that way, we'll bring our equipment, man. We'll we'll do a little little spirit box session. Yeah, and interesting. Maybe say hi. Part Illusion says, Burial Ground movie. I don't know that movie. I never heard of that. Did you want me to send you the link to the Hated on Facebook? Asked Jason. What For what? Do you want me to send you the link to Hated on Oh, Facebook? the, oh, I, the I'm pretty sure I watched it, but yeah, you can send it to me. If you love Danzig, then you must love. Love who? And this is question. Oh, makes. Misfits? I'm guessing that might be where that's going. Um, Sam, I, I'm i the vocalist. I'm the writer. I'm the producer. I'm the performer. The, I do everything in the band. Like when you hear that, I did every single thing in that. There, I am the band. Mel Pigeon said, Deeper is just a collection of bizarre, very short video clips of seemingly nothing. Yes, I but know exactly. There's garbled audio. See, I told you. And I've seen those. I know, and it freaked me out a little bit because I was like, it's going to make me do stuff. Nah, don't make <laughs> It's just weird shit. Into the names of the cold case murder victims. <laughs> well, that's weird. I had Sal uh, Salisbury. Salisbury steak. 
I think that's supposed to be Sal. Uh, well, no, it's, it's Salisbury. It's got to be Salisbury. It's got to be Salisbury. Did home. you have it was a Salisbury steak, Candace? Yes, Misfits. I see. Check out Turbo Negro if you have Yeah, I do. Uh, I know them because of uh Bammer Jar. Big fan of them. I'm on my way up to see Jason, not Sam, but just Sam. Are you really? You going to go check uh check out, go check out Jason? <laughs> you going to up uh, Uh-oh. What's Trey going to think? You cheating on Trey? Oh, you cheating on Trey, Elizabeth? Got a little tr tr uh, love triangle going on here. Play any instruments, Sam? I yes, I do. I started with classical piano. I play guitar. I also play keyboards, and believe it or not, those are two different things. I play bass. I play drums, and I sing. And I write full orchestral stuff. I'm not joking. <laughs> so I don't technically play a full orchestral. Uh, like I'm not. I don't play every uh, instrument in the orchestra, but I can write for every single one of them. Yeah, look at. I mean, check out Ninth Evolution, N T H E V O L Evolution, and you can hear that music. But if you want to hear my orchestral stuff, look up Nicholas Whitfield. You'll just you'll see a bunch of stuff. Oh, I don't want. I'm just gonna say, kind of a big deal. <laughs> Was that from? Was that the uh, Anchorman? Right. I'm kind of a big deal. I think that was that, but I'm kidding. I'm not a big deal. Let's see, Metal Pigeon says romance. As I said, no, I'm located on the way to see him. Oh, stop in. Oh, he was going to visit Jason. Mm -hmm. Let's go visit her. Oh, oh, I thought you were going to. <laughs> uh, Jay Loom said, a lot of you guys would like the YouTuber Gully Boy. It's a variety show. We've done a lot of reviews, commentary, and tells from the crypt. Goosebumps. That's cool. That's a, that's a, like Red Letter Media does the best of the worst. They do a lot of that, the, mm -hmm. kind of the movie stuff, and your movie sucks and all that. It's really I, I like that stuff, so I'll check them out. I think that's really funny. So there you go, cheating on <laughs> cheating on Trey and Reed. Who's Reed? Who's Rot Channel is the shit. Um, Elizabeth, you're gonna make my. I don't know. Inferno plays drums, so that's cool. Oh, very good. Elizabeth, you're gonna make my Maggie jealous. <laughs> <laughs> She's very a diva good. kitty. Did anyone see the uh, most recent movie, The Snow? No. I remember seeing <laughs> previews. I just saw those. Sometimes I get around. <laughs> Seems I get around. Not a good look. You threw a lot of letters in that one. Seems I get around. Huh? You said sometimes. I started reading something else. <laughs> he said sometimes. No, time. Seems I get around. Reed is Trey's co-host. Who's Reed? I believe I'm his co-host, so back off, Reed. <laughs> Who's this Reed gentleman? Oh, my music. Oh, my music channel. Oh, thank you very much. I didn't. I didn't know you were talking about me. I appreciate that, Inferno. Thank you. Can't take the hate. Yeah, it's a little hot in here, actually. And Jim plays bass. No, um, key, some keys. She plays some keys. I show her what to play in the the parts. Live. We should do a review of, on Winn-Dixie's Italian Crab Salad, if they still make it. It was the best thing ever when I lived in New Smyrna Beach as a kid. It says sandwich. I'm guessing that's a, that's imitation crab. It's a guy. I'm not a big fan of it, of imitation. That's sandwich. I didn't see sandwich come in. Did you? Is that the first time you said, well, I think well, so. hi, sandwich. Hi, sandwich. Just slip that in there. I like your name. Talking about sandwiches. He's like <laughs> Joey. In front. Yeah. I know that. YouTube channel JC is really good. That guy knows his stuff. Elizabeth said Reed is so quiet though. Who the hell's Reed? What is Streamlabs? Asked the Middle Pigeon. Who is that? Streamlabs is um you have who's doing that? Um baby kitty or well, kitten. Don't do that. Don't do that. She's just licking shit back there. Um uh oh sorry. Um Jack me off. I know that's I, that's like almost an, that's the guy from uh the, what's the guy from um shit Gold Rush it's Jack Hoffman what else? Jack Hoffman <laughs> well, that's such a horrible name but anyway sorry so real quick Jack it off yeah I know Gordon Ramsay Jack it off Mister um Metal Pigeon Streamlabs is a, a way like there's a couple ways you can donate to the channel like you you can do a super chat um which goes directly through. Um, YouTube Streamlabs is uh, a secondary party and they take a hell of a lot less percentage but hey we, pre we appreciate it no matter where it comes from but yes if you donate through um, YouTube they take 30% of every everything like so somebody donates 100 which hasn't happened but somebody does 100 they take 30 uh, Streamlabs takes like a dollar 
Yeah. So, yeah. So it's, and also, you know, the little dancing things on the screen when somebody donates, have you seen that? That's because of Streamlabs. And it's free. So it's actually a really cool service. Kitten, what are you doing, sweetie? Come here. Stop. Oh, chill. Come here. She ain't coming out. Till but they must need something because she's like, kills in here. I don't know. Um, the movie Shock Waves. Have you seen that? No. Um, put, well, where were you? Oh, well, you just did Jay Lomas. He used to be an OG rock star. He played oh, French horn, and I was supposed to play. And I was supposed to play for the University of Nebraska marching band. Lost interest turned out. That's uh, I think I think any instrument's awesome. To be honest with you. I mean, I write for French horn with the orchestral stuff. I obviously don't play it, but I do know how to write for it. And I mean, those. I mean, any any instrument, especially the classical stuff. Tough to play, man. It takes some dedication. So I think it's cool. So I think you are OG rock star. I don't make I don't, I don't make light of any musician. Nah, it's real crap. Yeah, yeah, it's weird because it comes from the grocery store, but it's actually that good. Kind of like how Publix, oddly enough, makes great subs. They do make good subs though. Yeah. So, okay. And, well, and, you're well, right Publix, about Publix. You're right about Publix. So they you have right that. About the... Well, I guess it's not Publix brand, but they have that really good um, smoked fish spread. Well, no, he's talking about their subs. He said Publix makes good subs. Oh, I know, but he's talking about also when Dixie's. Yeah, but that other one's not store. That's, that's what I said. That's a local I said it's brand. not. No, he's saying that when oh, it's real crap and it's good, but he's right though. I mean, Publix does make a good sub, so maybe yeah. when Dixie makes a good crap. Am I? JC is a genius and he uploads the reviews. So much great stuff. Who's JC? Mm. Candace says Dress Park is pretty, pretty scary. scary. Yeah, it's good. It uh, is scary. One of my favorite movies. I love Dress Park. Especially that first one. My kitties are sparring okay. off at the moment. So much. Well, also, drama. Jason the Shockwaves is, is is about underwater zombies. Oh, now we're goggles. Hey, you know what? They're zombies. They're brainless. But they do protect their eyes. They want to make sure they're going to be okay. See, Ooh, Event Horizon. I never saw that. That somebody asked me recently, um, who, what what a movie that freaked me out, and it was Event Horizon. Like that movie freaked me out. I saw it just late night when I was like seventeen. And, or maybe I was like 16. I don't know how old I was. I was a teenager. It was on like, you know, I don't know, Cinemax or something. And we're watching. I was watching by myself. And I just watched. I was like, what the hell is this movie? Freaked me the hell out. It's a weird trans-dimensional horror movie. Pet Cemetery was freaky too. Pet Cemetery, the first one, scared me. I just remember the, the creepy sister, Rachel. So wait, Sandwich, are you saying that Winn-Dixie still has that spread? And Leprechaun. I thought Leprechaun was a little hokey. But... It's one of those hidden gem kind of things. They Sandwich said they didn't know if they still have it. Okay. Um, Wrestling Machine said, I wish you could do your own theme or hide for Warner or yeah, for Warner Brothers hired me to do Batman movie. I would love to. Yeah. I would make it like half orchestral, half modern with like a crazy, awesome, kick-ass industrial drum beat in there with some deep bass. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> Thank you, though. Let them know. You write them, Wrestling you let Warner Brothers know. Now you're know. about to go over there. The shockwaves and Nazi movies. We saw that back in the 70s. Well, they said it was. He said it was underwater. So I don't know. Underwater yeah. Nazis. Jason. Oh. He's talking about himself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know you were talking about yourself in a third person. Yeah. Zelda from Pet Cemetery is effed up. Zelda. Zelda. Is it the old woman? Is there an old woman in that? Or am I thinking of Poltergeist? I think Sorry, so. but I There's thought Maximum sister. Power Maximum Power Drive was stupid. And it also has uh, Lisa Simpson in it. Yard, Yardley Smith. Burial I love Ground House. was a great Italian zombie movie. Hmm? Burial Ground was a great okay. Italian zombie movie. Was he the one that said Burial Somebody else said Burial Ground earlier, too. Jason, I didn't know who you were saying. I didn't know. I didn't know who he was talking about. I said, JC. I was like, oh. We're <laughs> like, who the hell is JC? <laughs> Callan Inception. Inception. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a Callan inside of a Callan inside of a Callan. She was locked in, in the, the basement. basement. I think that was the. I thought that was Rachel. I thought her name was Rachel. Huh? Or maybe I'm, she I'm was. Matt knows what maybe about. she was saying Rachel. Matt, don't joke around, man. He knows what you're talking about. Maybe she was. I can't remember, but there was some freaky sister. What's the Ramon in, song for Pet Cemetery? Room. I don't remember that. I have to listen to that. Uh, That'd be know. good. A, a good punk song. I thought Exorcist was pretty scary. Did you ever see that? No. I saw it when I was an adult. I did. I didn't see it. And I thought it was pretty freaking freaky. Well, anything with exorcism is pretty freaky. 
I don't like that at all. I know a lot of people said that the exorcism of Emily Rose is really boring because then it'd be like a court trial. Is it weird? But Elizabeths, the Elizabeths. Let's That's the name Elizabeth. of a band. Let's call her Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Yeah, I'm sure Elizabeth. she'd enjoy that. <laughs> um, I think she was the housekeeper or something. The housekeeper or something. Man, it's been a long time since I've seen Pet Cemetery. She's a housekeeper. See, now I'm like confused. Inferno. We do have checkers. I love checkers. One of my favorite places. Sorry, In fact, if you ever watch our, our reviews, and you see me wearing a red shirt. That's most like, unless it's the Simpsons Twin Peaks one. It's a checker shirt. They actually sent us it. They're like, hey, guys, thanks for the review. And they sent us some cool stuff. And there's some shirts. But, yeah, we're a big fan of checkers, man. Well, um, well I, I, earlier when they asked what, well, he asked what our favorite burger was. And I said checkers. Yeah. Um, Tanya R says hi. Hi, Tanya, Tanya R. Tanya R says hi. Well, hi, Tanya R. How you doing? How are you doing? Where the hell is that at? Have you guys ever tried going into the deep web? I don't know what that means. Um, what do you mean, the dark web? No, I don't know how I get there. Nor do I have any desire to sell body parts. Inferno says, I love your reviews. Thank you. I, I have a note from them somewhere, from Checkers. I don't know where it's at. I think it's up there somewhere, but I, okay. That's a mystery doll. Kentucky Fried Movie is a f really is really funny. I knew people. I, I've never seen it. I knew people who absolutely adored that movie. Let's see what we got to do for this thing. What do you guys think? You think we should experiment with this or save it or what? Oh, I saw your cat. Okay, cat. <laughs> Leprechaun, Aniston, Rachel comes to first full circle. Sure does. I asked the question and just went ahead and did it. Um. Hi, Goody Two Shoes. Hey, Goody. Hi. How you doing? Okay. Fill the oval depression. <laughs> With water. Depression. Does it have to, does it have to be heated or anything? Okay, so this is from uh, Janice. Janice and Ed. I know you're not in here anymore, but... Oh, God. So you got this little packet, which is the rice candy powder. Here, hang on to that. And then we've got... No... No description needed. Everyone knows what one of these things are. Magnet? I don't know. Um, we've got salmon roe candy powder. Ooh, mmm. Everyone likes that candy salmon. We've got salmon roe candy powder. Part B. Tuna candy powder. Mmm. It's going to be amazing. And then omelet tortilla powder. Omelette tortilla? What part of sushi is the tortilla? Uh, I have no the idea. made up one? And then soy sauce powder. Okay. I am so confused on what to do. Look at this. It's got like little like indentations. Oh, uh, you're not going to be able to see that. Damn it. Nope. You, you look at it. Can you see it, guys? Is this a good video? Looks like our light. <laughs> but it's got weird indentations and numbers. Okay. Fill the oval depression one with water. Then add powder from water? the blue packet. Stir until thick like cooked rice from the blue packet. How add much water? Wash your rice. hands. It says it on the box. Prepare a glass of water. Well, I have a glass of water. I have water too. Okay. What do they mean? It doesn't say how much water. It just squeezed this. I think this is it's this much water. Okay, so fill it with potion water and then add powder from blue packet. Oh, that's a big one. Rice okay. candy powder. All right. To the oval. That one. One. Mmm. Got so overexposed. Let's see if I can fix that real quick so I can see this. Can you guys see that? Then I will see it. It's white. Yeah, guess not. Our faces are changing like crazy, and this is doing nothing. There we go. We're going to be dark here for a second, but here. That's not nearly enough water. You liars! 
Stir until thick like cooked rice. How much water, damn it? Let's see what happens there. I did four of them. Ew. God, it looks like when you make toothpaste out of... Oh, it smells. Doesn't it smells like toothpaste. Good. It smells like toothpaste. It, it's like when you make, uh, like when, when old people make um, toothpaste out of baking soda. There, that's his... Okay, I that think... Looks like yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, make... For anyone who's just jo joining in, we're not normally this dark. I'm doing this so you can see it. Oh, excuse me. Add water up to line on the side in the spiral section, then add powder from the yellow packets. Spiral. Okay, I see a line. So you fill it up to the line. Okay, so we got it. There's a little spiral section right there. Oh, shit. I just destroyed everything. Hold on. No, no harm, Why no didn't foul. you use the little thing? That take forever. That's, that thing does like a centimeter of water. So, okay. Uh, this is such a good video. This makes for such good live stream when somebody comes in and it looks pitch black. Okay, that was four of them. All right, now. So, say so add water up to line on the side of the spiral section, then add powder from the yellow packet. Mix, spread, and flatten. And this is the omelet. Okay, so we're now making, you know, the omelet slash tortilla part of the sushi. You know, that everyone knows so well. Oh, look how scratched up my hands are. It's from our kitties. Um. See, that's way too much water. Oh my god, this is going off the rails. That can't be right. I put it right up to that line. Look at how how watery that is. And, and by flatten, they mean um, soupy goo. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a little bit of that in there. <laughs> oh god. Absorb it, man. You can do it. You can do it. I know you can. Oh, God. That's that. Okay. Sorry. I got to put a little bit more in there. Well, moving forward. Yeah, go just ahead. Just do less water. Yeah, they lied about the water. So just start small and work I'll your way up. I'll with the rice, apparently. Pat it flat. Sure. <sighs> okay. Number three. You need to make the tuna. Add water up to line on side in wavy section, then add powder from the red packet. So, don't fill it up I to won't. the line. And there is no red packet, although there is pink. We'll go the with tuna. that. Yeah. Let's do those two. Let's just see. Hey, how good do you think this is going to come up? I bet they're going to look beautiful. You know, like the balls. This is supposed to be solid, I believe. You're supposed to, it's supposed to be flattened out. Well, you, it's not going to work. Good freaking lot. You're supposed to be able to roll it up. Yeah. But, okay. Here. Which one? This one? Yeah. There we go. Sorry. That's still too much damn water. Oh, that's supposed to be tuna? That's disgusting. Does it solidify? It says spread and flatten. Oh, wait three minutes until firm. Oh, After cool. So I probably destroyed the egg. Wait three minutes? I'm not what... Oh, it's just like jelly. Um, well, now we gotta let it sit for three minutes. All right. So let's get the lights back up in the house. Bo's in the house. So we gotta let this solidify for three minutes. Okay. We'll just go where it was. Sorry if you guys have been talking amongst yourself. No, 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 I brought up barrel grounds and shock waves. Sorry. Well, is people, are people getting upset about that? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Reed has some dirty experiences. What the hell is Reed? 
I am so confused what Reed is. Reed Casual, casual gamer. gamer. I don't know. I don't know who that is. It's like everyone knows who Reed is. So, what do y'all want to talk about? <laughs> We're waiting for our, our suit. Is this it? All the packers? No, we have a soy sauce one. And what's the other one? Um, Make the dried seaweed. Make the salmon roe. Seaweed? And then you have to make the omelet sushi and the tuna What's sushi. What's omelet meat? sushi? Uh, I don't know. Not that read. Okay. Who's read? This read. Not yeah. that read. <laughs> okay. I love beer gum shockwaves. Dr. Butcher, MD. I don't know that either. Yep, you got the BBC and not the one that Nick had. Yeah, guys. Have you seen that yet? Probably not. If you haven't, check out our uh, McDonald's review of the sm bacon smokehouse burger. I had to Lunder. um the bacon smokehouse burger from mcdonald's and we spliced in some of our um footage from the bbc documentary we were in along with number six or cheese of whom we were supposed to be hanging out with sometime this fall or winter Sorry? yep they're coming to florida oh i love this egg cooker i got an electric egg cooker that can make six boiled eggs at once wow and they feel super easy oh that's nice yeah because I've tried everything. <laughs> Holy shit, life changed. That was a life changing moment. You know, yeah. you know you're getting older when the egg cooker is exciting, but we're in the exact same boat. I'd be like, Are you kidding me? I can make six hard boiled eggs at one time and they're easy to peel. Yeah. That was well, the thing. Jason, right now we're not doing commercials. Um, we get flagged too much for them. Like, yeah, yeah it, it messes with us real bad. Unfortunately, it was. We're getting, we, we didn't get any copyright strikes, but we were getting flagged and the video was instantly demonetized, which means it didn't show up anymore. And it also put your um, channel on a bit of a no fly list. Yeah. See ya. I wasn't making weird Japanese snacks. And Ethan, I'm <laughs> So he wasn't distracted and he's confused about the guy. Yeah, I know we came back and I'm like, what's happening? So he wasn't doing that, was paying attention and he still has no idea. So apparently there's some Something going on. Okay, let's do this. Oh, it's so spongy. I'll put the contrast down again in a minute. Oh well, my. We gotta make the dry seaweed yeah, anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't wanna black out the screen again so we can make some funky ass seaweed. So this shit right here. Spread out the black candy to match shape and size of the packing pouch. So that must be this. Right? Where? In there? I, I, packing pouch. This is a pouch. Well, okay. There ain't a pouch in there. Jeez. Huh? You see a packing pouch in there? I know. said there isn't a packing pouch in there. <laughs> I didn't know there was an extra packet of sass in there. A lot. I think it's kind of genius because this is a lot of work for like one piece of candy. So like in, in, in Japan, they're like, yeah, go have some candy. And like an hour later, they get one piece. That probably doesn't taste very good. We'll see. Mm. Well, I'm sure that's water. Well, I've got three pouches here. Okay. Add water up to lines on sides in sections A and B. Stupid water. Liars. It never says how much water. It says the lines. It's wrong. Add powder from the green packet. That's this a lot of water in this one, by the way. Well, don't put as much as it says, maybe. Okay. Now add. The Who's green. A? Add the green one to A. Okay. That can't be right. Look out. Okay, what's that supposed to be? Because it's just... It just... It's supposed to be the row. That's supposed to be the row? That cleared Maybe nothingness? It sits. <laughs> Why would the orange be row? Well, that says it was... Where the fuck did it go? I don't know where it went. How long is that supposed to sit? Two days? This is the salmon row. 
Add powder from the orange packet to section B. Mix it well. Oy Use vey. dropper to slowly add mixture B to mixture A. So you got to mix that up. Then use a dropper and add B to A. Wouldn't that be the other way around? The soupy one is A. Well, it says use dropper to slowly add mixture to B. Add, add mixture B to mixture yeah, A. Yeah, I'm sure a brother and sister would not just start punching each other in the face after making this thing. This cannot be like a bonding moment. So now this crap needs to go into this? B to A. Well. Use dropper to slowly screw add Screw the dropper. B to A. I don't give a, a shit about their dropper. Their dropper it is nothing but a lie. So there, look at that. This is why he can't bake. <laughs> well, you know what? My, oh God, it is, it is doing a weird thing. I think that's why you're supposed to drop her. I think you're supposed to make little, supposed to make row. Mm, well. We ain't having row. <laughs> Careful not to mix the liquids together. You're supposed to just drop it in. Well, tough. Tough titty, cause it it got it got mixed in there. But it has a little asterisk. Be careful. Make sure you wash your hands too. It says it on the top there. How to make omelet sushi and tuna sushi. So apparently, whatever this liquid is, when you drop this in, it just like coagulates like dumplings almost. Can you see that? But I think if you use a dropper, it probably does more of small. Well, everything else I said was a lie. Why was I supposed to believe that one? How do you get that out of there? Mm. You just it just says to put it on it. There's a lot of okay. Form a rice ball. Cut omelet and tuna it's a rice in half. Ball. A rice ball. Do I just like my hand? I guess. That's okay, I flatten this thing out. Well, you're supposed to flatten it out. I think it helps dry it, and but then, not the whole. Do we make two of them? Yes. Okay, there's supposed it's to be one two. for tuna. So. Okay. Form rice ball, and then cut omelet in half. I still don't get the omelet thing. Um, okay. Omelet in half. Mm. Oh, God. Oh, I just have. No, they were. Oh, that's that's what we're doing we'll too. Just do two. And then what? Omelet. <sighs> Sorry. Well. Okay. Actually, you need three. Well, we're having two. Then I already got you have the tuna, and then you have the roll with the seaweed. Well, we're doing two, so. Well, what do you want to do, tuna? Or we'll do the right roll. wrap. We'll do the wrap. Well, no, we'll do the two. We'll we'll put the seaweed around Wait, it. Put the tuna on that. Okay. With that, and then we'll do the tuna for the the wrap with this. And then a little bit of roe. Well, actually, the roe is just for the wrap. Oh, son of a bitch! Yeah, this is uh. It doesn't actually go on that. I don't care. Here you go. There's our little baby sushi roll. I mean, it's pretty neat how, how it congealed. So, okay. Ooh, good spot. Yep. Yeah. Oh, those are pretty good. <laughs> that is a seaweed. It's actually really good. <laughs> it tastes like um jelly. The um tuna tastes like jelly. It tastes like a peanut butter jelly. Yeah. Warm rice bowl. Wrap that around the rice bowl. Okay, one more, guys. And then you just put salmon on top of it. Bear with us here. Or the row. Wait, put salmon row on top of it. Okay. This. Wrap that up. What flavor is that? Oh, well, this thing's just falling apart now. That's not supposed to happen. Ooh. That's great. Okay. Nope. Well, we'll just eat the eggs separately. See what's going on in there. While we were digging around this thing for an hour. Here, I'm gonna let Jen just go ahead and eat that one. Okay. There's the um, unfortunate <laughs> sushi roll. There you go. Wasn't that great? How was that? What was the outside grape? Mm-hmm. It tastes like grape. Yeah. I'm having some egg and roe. It's actually pretty good. It tastes like um a weird Jello pudding. Okay, well, we didn't do great, but I gotta say, it is pretty tasty. Didn't taste bad. I think it, as much as I, I was getting frustrated by their the bullshit um, ingredients they gave us, or not ingredients, but the bullshit um, directions, the um, um, 
the flavor is good, and I think the idea is great because you're gonna keep a kid busy for a long time with that. Yeah, that takes. That's well. a lot of work for a piece of candy. I actually do like the little hamburger one better though. That was neat. You mic it and it puffs up and everything. So well, and it tastes like a hamburger. No hamburger. I'm sure I, everyone was riveted, and we didn't even make the soy sauce. Oh, huh? It tastes. Huh? I guess you just hit it on there. Huh? <laughs> This is why we love you guys. Your broadcast fails are our private. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that I'm was cringe. interesting. So like, I'm cringing. This is some weird shit. <laughs> Face it, immersion therapy. Immersion therapy. <laughs> you should try the yummy nummies, says Jason. What's that? Does it require building? Because if <laughs> so, no. I'm out. Unfortunate sushi roll. Pretty sure the name of the next band I decide <laughs> to get obsessed with. Unfortunate sushi roll. Ugh, that'd be a great name. No one would ever order that, it. Um, That's tasty, though. Little seaweed wrap. Yeah, I didn't get any of that. It's good. Very grapey. Yeah. Grape. Grape. <laughs> I have to use the little boy's room, so you got to hold down the fort. I oh, don't I can't hold down the fort. <laughs> I'll die. That was the most masculine turn ever. Mel Pigeon. God, I have a specific carb craving right now. Brown sugar Pop-Tarts. I actually am not... I like Pop-Tarts, but I only like the fruity ones. And I think we've talked about this before. Elizabeth, I like the non-frosted Pop-Tarts. And I like to toast them and just put butter on top. Those are my favorite. I might die. Elizabeth, I might die. Let's see. All right, get out of my mind. Second angle, Corey should just go ahead and legally change his name. I don't know who that is. How would you guys fare with MREs? I would try an MRE. I tried one once a long time ago. Probably when I was like 18 or 19, I tried one. I don't remember what it was. I think it was like a tortellini or something like that. But I, I would try one again. It was interesting to try. We got a case of 12 for 60. <laughs> yes, you have to butter that bitch, Elizabeth. Let's see, you should try yummy yummies. See, now I'm caught up and now I don't know what to say. Well, not even in there. Huh? He's leaving me now. I think he's going to get a drink or something. It's been a long day. Much love and have a great night. Have a good night. Good day, two shoes. I don't know where it is. Hi, guys. I'm back. Just had to help my one roommate move the stuff in the other stuff of the other roommate who never paid rent we are all three chefs though oh that's cool do you like being a chef got a drink snake <laughs> why should i have an AS asmr segment my voice is horrifically terrible i got goodies i got goodies i'm back <clears throat> oh shit hey i almost died Got some from the olive bar. There you go. And here's my half eaten alligator stick. When you watch the video I put up in, in a couple days, you'll understand. We went to Lucky's and I got alligator bobs, alligator stick, and I call this a car snack. Because anytime we go somewhere, grocery store, I have to have something to, to nosh on on the way home. Elizabeth is going to message us about Reed. Okay. Yeah, because we don't know what that is. All that is. And apparently. Wrestling says my voice is soothing, oh. which is false. ASMR. That's that's what he said. <laughs> ASMR. I hope. This is so good. The alligator. It's made of alligator and pork. Huh? It's a little hard for you. Mm. No, I'm good. You don't like what I got? No, I just don't want. I'm not in the mood for tart. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. It's like a really good slim jim. Yeah. Damn it, Jen almost died. Who said that? Elizabeth. Mm. Almost. 
his dreams almost came true. <laughs> An insurance plan. <laughs> that I don't have. Mm-hmm. No distribution, no luck. Yeah. Just throw me in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw me in the trash or I'm dead. Yep. Look at that. I got that from Jigsaw today. The blister? Yep. Yes, it's olives and feta and some other cheese. Yeah, we got the olive bar at Lucky's. They have a really good one. We've got a Kalamata olive um, pitted. Then we have a, it, it's a, what's it, like a big old butter bean that's like know. it's like a, soaked in oil and vinaigrette, as well as little maters and uh, feta and a smoked provolone. Is that what it was? Mm-hmm. It's really good. Feta and smoked provolone. Really good. Really, really, really good. Oh, I love the olive bar. Who doesn't like olive bars? I don't know, man. When you get the, like the, the the feta stuff ones, or the, even the the, be- the best ones with the peppers with the prosciutto and the smoked provolone. Are you kidding me? Any future vids of you guys slow dancing, either a gator? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't feel like immediately getting my face chomped off by I the gator. I thought that was cute. I don't understand what was going I on. I thought it was incredibly stupid. Yeah, I thought it was cute. He thought it was stupid. Well, no, that's stupid as in like it's a dumb video. Like that man's stupid. You I don't know if he slow- knew that alligator. Oh, he knew. Mm. He knows him. He's my friend. Don't Maybe worry about he- that wild animal who can Maybe bite my he face raised off. It. He's my friend. They were like in the bay. There's like a wide open. That wasn't. He's like, Jim. <laughs> Maybe he did. Jim, are you- you're not Jim. You Get out of here. You don't know his life. I don't need to know his life to know that gator it wasn't like, oh, there's Bob over there. Just swim over. Well, this is when we, this is when we do our dancing. Elizabeth what? loves olives. Uh, Metal Pigeon loves Tillamook. Tillam- Tillamook. Tillamook. Yep. Sharp cheddar. We have that. That's um, Actually, everywhere That's everywhere we go. Good stuff. So uh, sharp cheddar. Almost $10 a pound. This was not $10. No, $7 seven. a pound. Yeah. No, that was only like two bucks. We get like four or five things. Well, there's like 10 or 15 things. <laughs> and it's like two bucks. Uh, Lucky's is great. I, I make these little salads. We go out there, like work out. And, you know, get some exercise, maybe do a vid. And then sometimes the vid, we only split like half a hamburger or something. So, you know, we're a little hungry. We've got Lucky's. Get, they have $2 pints of craft beer. Again, this is in the video I'm going to be putting up in a day or two. So I hope you guys watch it. Um, but, yeah, they have $2 craft uh, pints. And we stroll around, sip, sip and shop. Yep. Yep. Good stuff. Jen and Nick could never fail because they are too cool. Huh? Well, I appreciate the sentiment, but. I, I think I think um, I probably fail a hell of a lot more than mm-hmm. I succeed. But that's that's the only way you can succeed is by failing. That's why I tell myself. Do it for the as I cry views myself mentality. To hmm. Do it for the views mentality. What? Oh, what dancing with the gator or uh, filming? <laughs> we have an overwhelming olive bar at a grocery chain here called King. Supers, yes, that's how it's spelled. Okay. It's a subsidiary or of Kroger. King Supers, it's like a Mario villain. What's for dinner tomorrow? I want it. What, what? It's oh, I love olive bars. What's it got on there, Jay? You can't just you drop that bomb. Things? No, it's good. You just drop that bomb and then walk away. You gotta tell me what's in that bomb. What's for supper tomorrow? Oh, well, we're doing a uh, cookout with my family. Um, we're going to my mama and my sister's house, and I'm gonna be uh, Mr. Chef tomorrow. I'm cooking uh, ribeye uh, on the bone, on the grill, and then uh, a variety of stuff. Maybe some like pulled pork moho and some sides, but I'm going to do a video for that too. So like I said, we're going to be filming everything these days. And um, yeah, so that'll be up sometime soon as well, but that's what's for dinner. Um, So essentially, I guess, ribeye on the bone. I love ribeye on the bone. I know some people don't like the bone there, but the bone is the best flavor and it keeps it nice and perfectly medium rare, right? And that's so good. If you don't like the bone, just cut it off. Big whoopie do. What are you having tomorrow, Elizabeth? What's, what's everyone having, having tomorrow? Yeah. yeah, what's your 4th of July plans, everyone? Are you guys having a cookout? Are you actually doing it on 4th of July? Or are you doing it this weekend like we are? We'll do one this weekend. Then we'll probably have our well, own. We'll, we'll have our own on 4th of July. But this is the family time when everyone has you know time off. Today, I snacked on pistachios, salt, and pepper flavored. One of my favorite snacks. What is it? Snack on pistachio. I've never seen salt and pepper flavor. I love pistachios. I've seen cashews. I get the little dollar ones from Aldi. There's a little package yeah. for a dollar. Otherwise, they're just they're just a little too rich for my blood price. So Nick, when you get the knife, can we get the triple decker pizza? 
<laughs> oh god um yeah i believe i owe it to you <laughs> i believe i owe it to you at this point we'll do that triple decker pizza it's gonna be a disaster but I, I will still do it i will i will um put it up warts and all mm -hmm. i'll be stopping by it's only an eight hour drive <laughs> Do you like the guar with the new singer after Dave passed I didn't away? know they got a new singer. It's weird. Kind of hard to replace that guy. Yeah. But, I mean, I understand them trying to move on. What I mean, they're, they got livelihoods, too. So, I'm not just immediately going to be like, screw them. Elizabeth says, I'm family. So says me. Yeah, you're welcome. Stop by, Elizabeth. We'll see you Bring more of that cheesecake. We'll see you in eight hours. <laughs> yeah, that's so not bad. Eight hours is really... Is it really only eight hours? No. That's like Atlanta's eight hours from here. You gotta be like 15, right? She's like, I map quested it. I know. <laughs> I know where y'all live. <laughs> swimming fireworks. Yep. Yep. My mom's such a pool, so I guess we'll be doing swimming sans firework. Yeah. I'll be spending the fourth alone. This is Jason. You're never alone when you have YouTube, Jason. Oh. The new Guar was solid, a good return to a more straight okay. head Same. middle approach. I'm totally open minded for that. Like I said, I understand. Like, what are you going to do? Just they're like, oh, guess it's over. And like, guess I got, got to go get a job at Walmart. Nothing wrong with that. But I mean, like, you know, these guys, that was their livelihood. And all of a sudden, they yeah. just don't get to do it. I felt that way with, um, I, I, granted, I didn't care for it, but um, Alice in Chains. I didn't blame Lane, uh, um, Jerry Cantrell yeah. for keeping on because I mean he wrote all the damn music and sang almost half the songs so like why should he retire yeah choir is RVA original part loser says I brought up barrier ground and shock you already said sorry. that I don't know what you're talking about why are you sorry I don't know what's going on with that You, I mean I'm fine with it and I don't care Jay Loomis says 4th of July we live across the street from a lake that has a show that has been in a national like publication and, and don't remember which for top 20 fireworks so it's cool. pretty, it's very good and live right across the street from it well to put an air mattress in this truck and watch it from oh the that's street. cool i like that yeah that's good stuff right there i got a pack of chicken drumsticks in my freezer might cook them on the grill on a little grill outside that's a good idea man uh, drumsticks are good on the grill. You yeah. gotta make sure you come all the way through. Because a lot of people don't realize they take a long time. Yeah, they take a real long time. So grab yourself a brewski, sit out there, enjoy the horrifically hot weather if you're in Florida, and cook cook yourself some chicken drumsticks. Severus said, so I've totally been trying to spoon the owners of the restaurant and in to have you guys come and stay as food tubers. That'd be awesome. Yeah. And ghost hunters. By day, food tubers, and by night, hey, That's hey said word. That should be opposite. You can by day, food tubers. By night, I think he said by, by day. day, food tubers. By day, food tubers. I think tubers. you said it backwards. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, also, let them know that we were just on the BBC as food reviewers, and it's absolutely true. If you don't believe me, check out our recent um, McDonald's review, and then show your boss that. Stick that in his pipe. <laughs> So don't show him this though where so I'm getting angry. It. Don't don't show him this where I, where I lose my temper. We we would tell your boss we would bring in almost a hundred views. <laughs> <laughs> I do have no idea about I sorry. I do have lead food. Flather beefcake, the mighty did a pretty good Wait, 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 wait. Lead food? Lead food? Where are we at? Elizabeth at the top. A foot. She has a lead foot, so she can get her oh, eight hours. Oh, oh, sorry. Brine them chicks first. You'll not be disappointed. Be cake. Jane Loomis has a channel. So the guys on BuzzFeed Worth It videos went to a ha place here in Houston on their show. Tomorrow night, me and some friends are going to go to that restaurant. It's apparently open until wow. 3 a.m. Cool. You know what's funny? is like that's one of those foods that like if you've been out for a while, you know, drinking, well, sounds good. It sounds good to be all time. I'll try it. Well, it does, but I mean, that is a good late night food. Yeah. You, you got to sit down, kind of decompress a little bit, eat something that's a little spicy. Like, yeah, that's good. Get your blood flowing. How's it your blood flowing? Spicy. Spicy does? Spicy food thins your blood. Oh. I will let them know. Try looking up the menu again for the restaurant. I have. We've seen the menu. It looks amazing. 
Nick, when you were in your 20s, I bet you had a lot of honeys. I could see it now. Um, not really. I've 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 been I'm I'm a uh, I'm a penguin. I'm monogamous. I date someone to stick with them. So I've I've really only I've dated two people the last what, 17 years at this point. Yeah. This one this one's longer. <laughs> Like 12 I win. years, 12 years at this point, yeah. So it's 12 and 7, so 19 years. That's not right. That's 7. 17 years. Never mind. I didn't graduate. I wouldn't mind giving chicks I'm not the bride. <laughs> so 17 years, yes. 17 years I dated two people. And I'm faithful, so. Because he's like, yeah, what, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> just because just you dated two people. <laughs> I wouldn't mind giving some chicks some And by honey. the way, I just what? realized, he said, when you're in your 20s, you got some honeys. Now you're just Yeah, now I'm just, now I'm just old. <laughs> old man. Old man Whitfield. Yeah. Can't get honeys. No honeys for me. <laughs> Worth it is one of the offerings that keeps BuzzFeed from being hot trash. <laughs> Buzzfeed, yeah, I agree with you. Buzzfeed's a tough one to swallow. Every and every now and then, there's something that you're like, okay, that's kind of cool. What is Buzzfeed? Crap. No, it's it's like things they think are trending. I hate when Buzzfeed gets political. I think I've seen some. It's funny when stuff they get. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. Every now and then they'll do something funny, but then they're like, they try to be poignant, and you're like, shut up. Ah, uh, okay. shut the fuck up. I haven't seen like, that. That's when you just like. Or if uh, I did, uh, I just glossed over it. Don't mansplain me. Oh, sh shut the fuck up. Like that's I can't take that. Like. That and that grilling sexist apparently. Yeah, grilling is sexist. We were just watching a video guys. tonight. It was BuzzFeed. That grilling is sexist. It's like Same Nick. Twenty years a widow here. Sad, I know, but still. Elizabeth? Yeah. I didn't know. Wait. She is twenty years a widow? That's what she said. Same Well, Nick, I didn't know that. A widow. Well, same Nick. Oh yeah, you're monogamous. Well shit, I didn't know that. I'm sorry. Jeez. I feel bad. I did not. I did not know, and I am very sorry. And yes, I am monogamous. So, we are we are of like mind, unlike this one. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> I don't have a channel, Elizabeth. I used to have several when I did bird surveys of banding, banding birds. birds and humanely chopped oh. them in Nebraska, but those videos were removed due to inactivity. Were they really removed? Oh. Did you remove them? Because that sounds interesting. Yeah. That sounds cool. You're like Billy the that. Exterminator. It's J. Loomis the Exterminator. What happened in that show? That I don't show? know. He got some shit. Ah. Uh. Um, aura. Aura, Jen. I see you. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> Um, because you were monogamous, and he's like, all right, all right, <laughs> is that what that is? All right. Well, you don't see shit. Oh, she's playing true. monogamous. It's been a minute. 20 years, I guess so. That's a long time. Jeez. Well, that sucks. Well, on that note, <laughs> it is getting, oh, that's 220. 12. Yes. Yeah, Oh, it's twelve twenty. I mean, I was looking. I'm at it. tired. I didn't feel well today. And no, it's not because of no, <laughs> no, no. I'm I'm not, I wasn't it. feeling very well today. And but also, we. I, I think we're uh, the, the the chats winding down. Winding bit, down. Yeah. No one wants to talk to us. So well, wait, hey guys, we ate an okay snack. She liked better than I did. We had a horrific snack. We had some good beer. We were frustrated by a child's snack, and um, I thought we ate something else. Oh, and then Jason's getting a reptile cereal. Oh, look at that. Jay Lewis has a degree in wildlife. That's cool. Not, Not stern. Really. Well, Billy Sherman doesn't kill them, though. He does just relocate them, which he I thought was cool. Billy the exterminator was a good show. Though. Yeah, he said he doesn't exterminate. Um, the wrestling also says, I do like how she already had the Nick tattoo, <laughs> so you guys really were meant to be. She's got a good memory, too. <laughs> yeah. That... <laughs> Dumb tattoo. Um, like would you guys like? Are they or are they crabby? They are a little weird about filming. They got kind of up my shit last time. They were like following me around. That was a little weird. Mm. But they did not tell me to not to. <laughs> they did not 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 tell me to. So at, well, if you guys want us to do another big lots, I mean we'll do another snack haul. We, I think we're gonna definitely try to incorporate the snack hauls for the live streams. I think that was kind of fun to yeah. show you guys what we're having. So if you guys want to go. But it's not just gonna be big lots. We got a lot of cool places, so it'll be big lots, save a lot, 
Dollar Generals, the the Asian Mart, Luckies, Whole Foods, all you know, everything. We'll do a lot more vids there and get sn snacks for the live stream. So, Big Lots for sure is one of them because the Big Lots actually is cool because it's always revolving. Yeah. Uh, thank you for the cereal. Did you guys want to do a collab review on the cereal? Um, yeah, well, we can definitely do a collab. I mean, if you just get it and want to do it, that's fine. Because I don't completely know how to do a review of a cereal. I kind of have an idea of a, like a little skit that I want to do with it. Cause, we'll just do that. Yeah. yeah. Um, but we'll we'll set it out to you. I gotta like I'm going over tomorrow and uh, like my major rumor is taking. Yeah, I, my mom sends my packages. <laughs> Uh, so yes, Jason hugs to you. Oh, Jason, we hug you too. You too, no, he's Elizabeth. He's... I know we we hug Elizabeth. That I did, I said it wrong. This is why I don't talk about it, but it's fine. Our okay, Asian Mart is energy. amazing, by the way, Metal Vision. All good energy and vibes. Absolutely. Well, I hope that you know our vids and us chatting and doing the stuff was is you know, entertaining and fun. And that's what as we try to make the stuff lighthearted and fun and snarky. And we have a weird, dark sense of humor, but at the end of the day, it's all. Yeah, it's from a place of love, for the most part. Um, but uh, Until so. it's not. <laughs> Great stream, y'all. Hey, Captain Acron. I actually, uh, one of the times we did a live stream, uh, Captain Acron got all the snacks that we did for the most part. Remember that? That was really yeah. cool. That was fun. Yeah, we, we wanna, so we'll do that we again if you guys like that. Because that is kind of fun that you guys, but the problem is you have to have that thing there. You know, we, you have to have a Big Lots or you have to have a Dollar General. Sometimes maybe we'll just do it at Walmart, something that everyone has. Go pick five things from Walmart. Yeah. If you guys want to get snacks with us, then we'll do a live stream. We'll all snack on them together. That's pretty fun. Um, but anyway. <laughs> there you go. I don't I don't always buy condoms, but when I do, they're <laughs> magnums. That's a keys. So anyway, guys, uh, we're going to, uh, you guys keep me company, and I thank you for that. Absolutely, man. Everyone on YouTube. That's everyone here. I think that's a, that's the bar, YouTube, the, the financial part of YouTube sucks ass. Yeah. And they're screwing everyone over, especially us. But the social interaction and all that stuff actually, you know, is it, what makes it worth it. Um, so we really do appreciate that. The intro to Burger King reminded me of too much of Bioshock Infinite. Did it really? That's cool. I love that. I love that game. So I tr I purposely made that weird as hell. I have fun doing that stuff. So I know some people are like, why did you do that? Pepperoni. Pepe, you just came in at the exact moment we're leaving. And it, it is live at the night. moment. We were saying night night. We were saying night night. We we're doing our night nights. And you come in here right One minute. So uh, I'll say hi and wait for you to, to say hi back. So you don't think we're like, oh, good pepperonis in here. Time to go. We've got to go. We can't be here. Yeah, we've been on here. for two plus hours now. So, all right, night night. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but H, uh, we'll be on again sometime. And we're going to try again for Tuesday. Wait. Tuesday, we might do Tuesdays, Fridays again, just to keep it going, as well as like literally, we're talking five five videos a week, not necessarily including live streams. So, if you like Whitfield's food review, you're in for a treat. And if you don't, then you're really gonna hate it. I don't know why you're here, <laughs> but anyway. So, thank you guys. We love you, and thank you for Elizabeth and Happy Man. Yeah, thank you for the donations. We really, 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 really appreciate that. And I don't think I forgot anyone. And Amanda didn't say hi tonight. So. No, I was like, I don't know. Yeah. So anyway, guys, thank you so much uh, for watching. And 